Welcome to No Tyler Gaming, watching the E3 Steam conference. This better not be as bad as fucking Devolver Digitals. Yeah, this is a, this is gonna be this is. It's Xbox was pretty lit, to be honest. It was mostly the fuck with lit. Stop using lit. I hate you, dumb kids who use lit. Just because you're just old. Anyway, now Xbox. The correct was relatively term is lit. radical. Man, nobody's used radical in fucking years. Dude, groovy. Oh, that's so groovy, man. Anyway, now, Xbox was relatively lit, but it was pretty much Fuck just you. them showing off all the new games that they have. Yeah. Which is pretty cool, and they, like, went slightly in depth for their console, their new one, the Xbox Bonk. One X. X, the One X, who lit here today. I'm going to light you all on fire. Oh, uh, you'll watch it, Dying Star. You can see when it kind of fucking comes up. It'll come up. Uh, I think it'll be uploaded after we after we finish this stream. You'll be able to see it. Good God, no. It was so bad. It was, it was so, so bad. fucking... It was so bad. It was they just honestly cringe-tastic humor. They shouldn't even have been at the conference. No, they shouldn't have been fucking breathing. That too. I mean, they were all dead <laughs> by the end of it, so it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, all the, all the people died. That, that, the, the, the girl had like a nosebleed on the fucking... Jesus. <laughs> they're they're fairy. I'm sure you will see. See, fairy knows what he's me. fucking talking about here. <laughs> Look at that shit just fires. Especially since it was so late. Yeah, it was like, you had, like, just give you the Cliff Notes key. It was like, just like this fucking super cringy skit. Just get, you know, don't, you watch the fucking video. Okay, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna turn this shit on. Um, well, we don't have to unmute it. No, we don't, because we're waiting for the actual press conference to start. Um, I'm reasonably sure, like, th this, it's called the PC Gaming Show, but it's advertised by Steam, right? Uh, okay. This might be Steam's show. I, don't uh, mind that if it's I guarantee Steam. you that we're not going to see Half Life Three. I would love to see Half Life Three, but we're not going to see Half Life Three. I haven't even played any other Half Life. It's because you're a fucking pleb. Are they on Xbox? Exactly the words a pleb would get, would use. Yeah, well, then how would I have played them, Dev? Man, you know what? You know what, dude? You know what? You know what? Full Naomi? screen the fucking video. Why it hasn't Dev. even started yet? Full screen. It hasn't even started. Here, no, you know what? Instead of that, we're gonna go look at the cancerous fucking chat room. Like, look at this. Look at this, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, look at that chat. Uh, it went up by blah, like. Blah, is blah, that blah, still sixty three or is it eighty three now? It's eighty three. Yeah, that went up by. Banner a lot Lord. Of look, one day you guys will be shit posting this hard. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty thousand extra people. Came for this because when I looked at it earlier, it was only. 63. I saw Dynasty Star. I ignored it. Oh, it's PC. Oh, this is like PC Gamer, like the magazine. Oh, neat. The PC gaming thing is. Dev, I have a question for you. Yeah. Let's hear it. What the fuck is that Illuminati shit? That chat looks almost as bad. Oh wait, is it starting? Yes. This isn't starting. Man, pay the fuck attention. Okay, I'll unmute it. Let's see what it is. Oops, I pressed pause instead. Oops. Oh my okay. Oh, there's an ad now. Because I paused it accidentally. Well, let's let's watch this ad of this terrible fucking movie. Hey, you want to hear Heroes in Pieces question? You lit. You lit. You lit. No, fuck you, John Wick. PC, PC gaming, gaming show, show powered by Intel. Call it the personal computer. Well, it's not just a box or a station, right? Your PC doesn't exist without you. And you don't um, just use your PC, you're its keeper. You're responsible for it. PC it's a run on blood. <laughs> we turn the screws, we clean the fans, we thread the cables. It's got uh, wh wh fingerprints on it. Oops, I tried Deb, to... what the uh, fuck uh, are you doing? I accidentally... Change the channel wow. on on our TV. You stupid piece of shit. I tried to hit the volume button and I hit the channel button instead. I can't believe you survived that. I can't believe I'm surviving this. We get to decide what experience we want. That's why I held it upside down. The remote. Put it down. PCs are scaffolding. Put it down. Our imaginations. Yeah, apparently there was like an AMD Intel show earlier, but it was all hardware, so I didn't really care to watch it. It's like, oh, well, whatever. You know what I mean? This is the PC Gaming Show 2017. 2017. With terrible frames. I saw right? Overwatch. Yes, so did I. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and lovers of games all over the place. This I like his tie. Is the PC Doesn't Gaming match his shoes, show, though. Should have Intel different color shoes. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't this guy a Hearthstone streamer? You're doing woo. 
That's excellent. I'm your host, Sean Day Nine Plot, and if you have yeah, Day Nine, yeah, 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 yeah. Before, it's simple. We have a he lost weight for this. He used to be like a super fatty. All their upcoming games. Mm -hmm. I was being like a regular fatty. Other. So I'd like to warmly welcome all of you for coming out to the beautiful Ace Hotel Theater in downtown Los Angeles. Can you imagine, like, if we, if our channel gets big, I'm like invited to do one of these? You think I'd do it? You are not allowed to go do one. I come out like in a suit. It's like, hey guys. Now, if you're interested in and I just start like screaming the most racist <laughs> shit and just get booted off. Spanish, Russian, Chinese, feel free to head there or stay right here for English coverage. And without any further ado. Let's find out what's happening this year at the PC Gaming Show. Huh? Oh. This is the PC Gaming Show. Live from the theater at Ace Hey, why did they get a Hearthstone, man? Los anyway. Angeles, California. Gwentleman? Gwentleman? Oh, that's hilarious. Intel Gwentleman. explores the future of PC gaming. It's because Gwent sucks. New announcements from Xbox. Xbox. Jordan Weissman. The creator of Mech Warrior gives a first ever look at Battletech's campaign. New footage for Middle Earth Shadow of War. Oh. Mm. We're going to see more Shadow a of New War? Game That's cool. From Clay Entertainment. New gameplay from Total War Warhammer 2. Cool. Oh, apparently, guys, one of the fuck off, one of those guys, um, one of those indie games we saw during uh, yesterday's Xbox conference. He was like a GamerGate guy. He was like he was pro GamerGate back in 2014, and people found that and they started like mercilessly shitting on him on Twitter. It's like, well, I'm not gonna buy that game now, even though it looks cool. It's like, well, fuck you. Let's talk about our very first game. It is an expansion to the legendary and infamous turn-based strategy game. XCOM 2. Let's take a look. Mm. Never even heard of it. That's because you're a fucking plebiscite. Yeah, okay. XCOM was great, man. Right. I need I need to I need to date a girl who plays video games with me. And not just pretends to in order to attract men. I'm kidding. I know that's like your biggest pet peeve. I'm just it was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> We've gotten to the point where, like, I just tell Naomi Schopenhauer was right, and she gets, like, ridiculously mad. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm gonna send one of those things to suck your brains out. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll buy you, I'll buy you a Deadpool something. Yeah, Dev, shut up for your own good. Yeah, Dev. <laughs> Don't push <Safe. laughs> it. We consider a legitimate threat to Advent. So XCOM, uh, the original XCOM was like, it was a, uh, looks like Mass Effect. it's not. Oh, this is, oh, this is going to be a first person shooter one, is it? Because it's like a tactical game, like a grid and you like move units around and you, and you like shoot, and you shoot uh, aliens and stuff. Um, and XCOM was good, XCOM 2 was good, XCOM the Bureau was like a first person well, shooter that kind of sucked. Well, did they it was an expansion to XCOM? Well then, it might be, because it looks like it could be either at this point. Because none of this is gameplay. It's all the like, cutscenes. So, is this a new tactical game, or is it a new a new one of the first person games for XCOM? Anyway, this looks pretty neat. Um, two. Hmm. Neat. August 29th. Whatever it is, it looks fiery as fuck. XCOM 2 War the Chosen is the creative director of XCOM 2 over at Firaxis. <laughs> Jake Solomon, pleasure to you have know, you here today. Guys. This is very exciting. We finally get to talk about this. So, yes, I'm very pumped. Thank you for having us. Well, then tell us what is War the Chosen all about. Well, so the goal with this game really was His to make side something profile massive. makes him look like Channing Tatum. So we added a ton of new enemies. <laughs> Channing Tatum. Of Tatum. Of guys. Channing Tatum's and everything nowadays, guys. Yeah, you need brick strategy them. Systems, just he's a what? You need brick them. 
What the fuck is that? But what is it? <laughs> so like a super muscly guy who looks like a thumb. Yeah. 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 You're adjusting your mumu. Always adjusting the mumu. Naomi, Naomi, he's like exposing your your like just newly shaved leg. I can still I can still see like the hair follicles. Yeah. Ow! The graphics on this hair follicle leg are more impressive than XCOM. <laughs> no. It's an expansion XCOM 2, a turn-based tactics one. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you like you, you like wearing dresses around the house, right? And then like I noticed, and I'm like, that's, that's a moo moo. And you're like, no, it's not. And then you got all offended by it. And then you like waited a day, came back, like it's a fucking moo moo. <laughs> yes, well. When you wear a belt on it, though, it doesn't really look like a moo moo too much. But you can't really see the belt, so now it's just you're, you're just in moo moo mode when you're on the show. You only shave one leg, yeah. Yeah, no, I only shaved one. That's why I can only show one leg. But I only shaved one. Don't throw off your thighs, you fucking harlot. <laughs> Personalities of the different Very shows. grandma. Me through who the <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Flower yeah, so patterns are the example, shit. <laughs> yeah, totally. Super lit. Her personality is, is tied up I hate you. And honor. She feels very I hate honor everyone who watches this show. Do you understand me? Well, then why the fuck I'm going to pick that scab of yours. No. And killing soldiers, you know. <laughs> um, a natural expression of identity. We're bringing back some familiar elements from earlier games, yes. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, mm. but mm. combat-wise, she's a mix of stealth. Thank you. It's, it's wow. It's so that's so much cooler now that your foot's off. It's so hot in here, guys. In close on the Report for bottomless so, stream. Like the other chosen, she's very the best thing about Eskimo is that soldiers can die because you fucked up. Yeah, it's very much like a when they when they die they don't come back kind of game. You gotta actually be careful with how you play. No, I don't. Sniper. When? Um, and then we have I always wear shorts, man. That's it. You know, a warlock. So <laughs> you guys never see anything else. So yeah, Ed, 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 he, doesn't he look like a warlock? So yeah, well, they, so not really worth looking at. Very unique skill sets, and so are. it's fun to. to, to oh, you're biased. What about the new tools? I hate new XCOM and every single reboot that uses the original name. Can you imagine yeah, like so, Valve trailer, releases um is not like Half Life just. We're just gonna remake the first Half Life, and it's just shit. It's it's like, it's like all the all the bad things about modern shooters. Distinct philosophies and distinct uh, fighting styles, but for the player to get access to those, first they have to win those factions over. They have to recruit them to the XCOM. Shorts are comfy and easy to wear. When you do, you See, have access like I don't know, this is not as entertaining because we've seen the game and it looked cool, and now it's like we'll just talk about it. We'll have an interview. It's like, well, okay. Stealth marksmen and saboteurs. It's uh, not lit enough today. Maybe it will be lit and we'll like us more. Oh, <laughs> Sony better show off either Final Fantasy VII or Shenmue III. They better fucking show off one of those games. It's been two years since we've seen them. We have the Templars, and they're the most mysterious of the factions. They are psionic wildlings, and they work a little Dude, it's just the Halo sword. It's just the Halo sword. That's it. They just copied the Halo. The guy should even say, "Why'd you copy the Halo sword?" Day nine should be like, "Why'd you copy the Halo sword, man?" See, I think that's why I seriously wouldn't be able to do one of these because I would say that. I, like, I'm sitting there in the suit, and it's like, "Dude, you just why'd you copy the, the sword from Halo?" And he'd be like, what? See, this what? is why you could have your own talk show, but not be able to go on anything else. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3 for Sony. But yeah, man, I'd be like, why is there, why'd you copy the Halo sword? And the guy would just be like, what? This isn't on the script. Why'd you copy the Halo sword? I'd be like dragged off stage. Fans of your attack on the Half-Life remake called Black Mesa. It's very Half-Life 2. Oh, cool. Um, Mesa, handsome. not Mesa. I thought that everyone in the cities died, but apparently they're it's alive Mesa. and well. They're yeah. doing fine. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> I heard they, they weathered the last Mace. 20 years really well. <laughs> like, so, as in Mesa. Um, yeah, no, I can fucking read now. I mean, my eyes are still blurry from, like, no sleep. And didn't even, like, wa had time to fucking wash my face this morning. I'm still wearing the same clothes as yesterday, God damn it. And so when you go into the cities... I've been busy, guys. ...are drawn to the sound of combat, and they never stop ah. coming. And there is a silver lining, which is that the Lost don't like aliens either. So, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so once the Lost show up, then everybody's fighting for their lives. And I know that a big hallmark of the XCOM games Ooh. is the sort of tactical maneuvers of the AI that, in the same way you're planning, it's planning right. too. But the Lost behave quite differently. Yeah, they're mindless. So the idea is that you have this... The Devolver Conference gave me every single... They gave us all the cancer. We still have not recovered. If we look terrible, it's because of all the chemo. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Lost, 
you're fighting the admin at the same time. It <laughs> makes for some very, very beautiful chaos. It's, it is definitely unlike any other XCOM uh, missions you've played. Well, Jake, you're the first guest out. The worst so part I'm of Half-Life is pro okay. When do we get to play it? <laughs> We get to play this. War of the Chosen comes yeah, out August Yeah, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of like Metroid Prime in that regard, in that it was an amazing game right up till you get to the crater, and then it's just like the shittiest platforming in any fucking first-person shooter ever. It's like, oh, well. Oh, that's actually pretty soon. Jake didn't want to do this, but I'm going to make him do it. I said August 29th, bro. at Solomon Jake. Fucking don't pay attention to me. Sorry. What are you doing, though? I accidentally keep hitting the mic. Stop it. You hear pot heals cancer? I heard it lessens the effects that it's cancer can have on you, not that it heals it. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today. Jake Solomon, creative director of XCOM 2. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Well, Thank you. It is kind of like how Spoonie screamed betrayal, right? Like regarding me doing conferences like this. this event. Joining me to do all sorts of announcements. Spoonie had like an actual decent career at one point, right? He, he went to conventions, he interviewed people, he did stuff like this, you know? And then... After the XCOM first person shooter came out, he was in the conference hall just screaming, Betrayal! Over and over and over. And that tanked his career. No one would ever give him an interview ever again. No one would ever let him do a show ever again. No one would put him on a panel. Nothing. Because he acted so unprofessionally. He might have felt betray betrayed as a fan. And people, like his fan base, had his back when he did that. Like, they don't have his back anymore because he's done anything since then. But his fan base had is back then. Um, they don't have it now because, like, he, he he can't do anything anymore. You know, double fine as shit. It looks just like this fucking 3D Stardew. 3D Stardew. Oh, this is the thing we saw yesterday. We had no idea what the fuck it was. Yeah. yeah. Double fine makes like hit and miss games. Costume quest was like okay, you know. Guaranteed SGW developer? I mean, probably. Shitty stupid. I mean, this animation definitely looks super familiar from some SGW things I've seen, so. Sturdy Valley 3D? That'd be cool. Those aren't Juminos, though. This looks like a double fine game. And it really looks like it could be hit or miss, you know? Yep, got a sim mode. I think it is just mostly a simulation game. Mm. It might be one of those games that you really kind of like get addicted to, but it also seems like it could be really shitty too. Diversity! Diversity! I mean, it definitely has potential. Ooblets? PC, Xbox One, 2018. Cool, cool. That trailer. Day 9 just said that trailer, then he was cut off. Yep. It's like, oh shit, dude, maybe you should, uh... Wait, Wait this is... Is this XCOM? No. Shadowrun. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. This is kind of like what XCOM is, though. Like, the original XCOMs? Yeah. I mean, obviously not this graphically intensive, it was an older game, but it yep. was, like, moving... Taking like like shots Battle and tech. that Ooblets trailer makes me oh so happy. And the uh, previous uh, one you just uh, got the chance uh, to see uh, uh, uh. is the old school tabletop game Battle Tech, distilled into its purest form on PC. And here to talk about Fuck from that trailer schemes is Jordan Ooblets. Wiseman and Mitch Gettleman. Welcome, gentlemen. It's a pleasure to have you up on stage. Thank you very much. I get yeah. It's like dude, you you yes, <laughs> you made a mistake there, Dana. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> Now, there's been a lot of games based on Battletech. Booblets. Yeah, Booblets. By all means, Battletech is a modern How's your boo doing? tactical game set within the mech world. Are you wearing a bra? Yes. Uh, there's going to be three modes of play. Oh, yeah, I guess you A single-player skirmish, a multiplayer skirmish, and then... Just, they look different game depending game. on bra or not, Mercenary and you look, you look braless right now. Well, I want to hop straight into some of that single-player... I can generally like tell just by looking at you at this point. Argo. I understand that... You know, there's all sorts of combat goodies that we're going to see. Am I going to make a comment? Wait, what's wrong, dude? Hip grandpa's on right, screen. So yep, is, uh, pretty much. Naomi. Is this, is this going to be the conference where you're just mad at me the whole time? Here, uh, <laughs> and it is 
your mercenary command center. <laughs> you could take it all over the uh, all over space, uh, going from star system to star system, and taking uh, mercenary jobs. Oh, it's from No Man's Sky. All sorts of different people, from uh, petty dictators all the way up to the great uh, lords and ladies of the noble houses. And uh, from there, you uh, can also command your entire mercenary crew. There's Samiri. Mm -hmm. She's your navigator, and you command her and all of your mech warriors as yeah. you take your jobs and upgrade your ship. You get to command her, eh? Bit about the I'm definitely buying this game. Single player. Sure. So you're going to see in a few moments uh, Lady Kamea Arano. She's uh, a deposed ruler. Uh, her, uh, I mean, this looks cool, but her, uh, throne was taken I, I think it's, again, own. the same problem as to, the... Uh, the last one it's like okay her now we're getting in depth into the game and it's like well it's not as exciting you know the trailers are exciting the reveals are exciting this stuff like if you if you weren't extremely hooked by the trailer which it was good but i wasn't extremely hooked this doesn't really appeal you know this sounds lit as fuck i'm gonna like find out your fucking addresses and just light you all up and tell you that you're lit as you burn one of the key crew members because the game is cool. I mean, it looks yeah. interesting so far. You're a merc. You're he has a Darth Vader hand. Money. Taking damage, you know, sets you behind. And so that, that's a really delicate balancing. And I mean, I, I think this is a bit of a boring way to do it, but I do appreciate the fact that they're kind of taking Absolutely. the time to actually like, uh, explain how the game works. Era, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where parts are, are scarce. Battlefield salvage is an important part of the game. Uh, and, and that also I mean, though, at, at the same time, what do you prefer? Do you prefer this kind of thing, where the developers come out and, like, talk about yeah, as someone plays? Or do you prefer, like, the shitty lady, uh, simulated uh, multiplayer footage She's where the guy was, like, in, in that in that one game, the guy was like, I found that loot over the weekend, and they, like, fly off, and they're like, it's like, oh, oh come on, that's not real. I live for in Rochester, come for a visit. Actually, we get Rochester channels here on our, uh, on our TV packages because we're close enough. We're close enough to, to Rochester in Canada to get those, those channels. And, and like a modern tactical game, uh, the environment counts, right? Line of sight, sensors. I remember actually growing up. Um, I, I don't care too much about this. It's cool, but I've already seen what I want to see. Um, I remember growing up, like, flipping through the channels, like, as a kid, and we'd always, like, hit some American, like, Rochester channel, and it would talk about, like, local, um... <laughs> local like lawyers in Rochester who were like, have you been wronged by an accident at work? You know, call this number and come step into our office in Rochester today. It's like the sleaziest fucking commercials. So I just grew up thinking like Rochester was, was this giant sleaze bag town when I was a kid. <laughs> you prefer this over fake uh, VOIP? Yeah, me too. Yeah. As a kid, huh? Thanks, pal. And this way we're also seeing actual <laughs> gameplay. I yeah. mean, I understand with, the, you know, like with the, the developers sort of explaining it. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't disables that weapon, but Absolutely. the mech can keep going. And you keep no, I can just understand he died as he lived, lit as fuck. <laughs> and the back is really juicy and tasty, too. You, you get around the back of a battle mech and penetrate. <laughs> penetrate. All right. <laughs> you fucking fine, right? perverted old man. <laughs> we'll allow it. We'll allow yeah, there it. There you go. What you just saw there is melee. Um, one of the one of the things we're really excited about. I mean, mechs were not only yeah. weapon systems; they're giant. Yeah, me know, too, man. Suits and so we're going up and I like tactics and games. Being able to slug and kick and, and just you know even put a foot through a cockpit uh, or death from above, jump uh, jump up and slam down on mechs. Don't all you guys think it's weird when like older people will have hair one color and their beard will be another color? Usually it's a gray beard and then like dyed hair. Does anyone else think that's weird? Because I still think that's Dave right now. His beard's gray and his head. His hair is, is regular color. No, no, no. His beard is like isn't really totally gray. To There's just like small patches of gray in it. They're not small patches anymore. They were a year ago. They're not now. Why, Sean? They can go to BattleTechGame.com. He's actually aging pretty fast. I'm like. Yeah. Find us I've like looked at myself in the mirror and been like, yeah, I don't know, wrinkles, like shit. shit. But got a couple this is the guy wrinkles, that right. got like several gray like Not that many you though. You can't really Not see that many, yeah. Uh, but like <laughs> Dave, <laughs> like Dave can have salt and pepper hair and rock the uh, silver fox look. Dave's not gonna rock anything, but fucking be buried underneath rocks, a rock slide. No, no, no. Like you know, from like 20 until 28. You outing Avery as a succubus? I mean, yeah, pretty much. From like from like 20 till about 20 or 29, Dave looked about the same, like just slightly older. Then like every single year after that, Dave has gotten like noticeably older. It's like, holy shit, dude, whatever the fuck you're doing to yourself, stop. Like you, you, you can prevent aging if you 
if you treat yourself better than what you're doing, man. Fuck. Oh, I think I might know this game. Yeah, yeah it looks kind of like a... Like, what, what, what's that game that I'm thinking of? Where you, like, simulate the crusades and shit? Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you have... Like, Not Heroes Might Magic. Uh, no, I don't remember what it's called, but, like, this looks like the one where you're actually, like, simulating, like, what actual combat's like. Yeah, yeah. the sword is actually really hard. You have to get, like, used to it really fast. Charge through. Yeah, this looks like it. And, I mean, I saw my friend playing it, and it looked really neat. And I was just like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, like you're in charge of this and stuff. And if you play as a right, woman, see, it's actually on. a lot harder. See you later, Von Sanic. Bye, Von Sanic. Well, presumably because women don't have the upper body strength. No, 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 no. It was just to get your army together because, like, way back when people wouldn't take women as, seri like, seri as seriously as men. Yeah. So, like, playing as a woman, trying to, like, get an army together and stuff was, like, playing on hard mode. Well, yeah, I mean, Schopenhauer was right. <sighs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Damn it, please. Give me your nose. <laughs> no. Give it to me. Give it. No. Now. <laughs> Bonk. Skip fucking douche. Ho ho. Attack them now. Attack. Did you guys win? Good job. Three arrows sticking out of him. No big deal. Oh, Mountain, Mountain Blade. Blade two Banner Lord. I also thought that Mountain Blade was an anime series. Always a pleasure to have Mountain Anything Blade two here at the PC Gaming no. Show. Now sure. I know we've just gotten started, and we've seen XCOM and Ooblets and BattleTech. We would love to hear your thoughts. Use hashtag PC Gaming Show. Let us know what you think. We'll even hashtag PC Gaming Show. I'm just gonna tweet at day nine. Tweets, why the fuck are you here? And why are you wearing a pink shirt with a pink tie? <laughs> The pink tie looks Coming nice. The only thing I have issues with is his belt and his shoes. I feel like the tie should be the same color as the, uh, it's total the blazer Warhammer and has the pink shirt. Joined by Al be the only pink. Nah, I like the tie. The tie looks nice. Yeah, really good. Good to be here. Again, no, he, what he should have done was, since pink, like, he's wearing gray, but he should have worn... Also, why is he wearing black shocks with brown shoes? Everyone knows not to do that. I'm having issues with this guy, Why is he wearing a suit when everyone else is just wearing casual clothes? I think it's because he's hosting. Yeah, maybe. I guess, yeah, most of the hosts have been wearing, like, suits and stuff. Well, no, because, like, like the, the Battlefront girl wore, like, a Star Wars dress. Okay, yes, well, um, she wasn't, like, the host. Actually, like, yesterday's, like... Um, no, you know what? Yeah, no, everyone, they, they didn't wear a suit. Everyone has no, a bit of a... I don't know, maybe it's because he's not, like, the actual, like, yeah. head of these companies, well. he's, you know? He's, like, the, he's like the most dressed person we've seen so far, I think. Yeah, but not darker than... Ty needs to be dark on a light shirt, but not darker than the suit. Um, not necessarily very to all, kind of, like... If you have like so black black coat, black tie, and black shirt looks good, and white coat, white tie, white shirt looks good. Having all three the exact same color can also look pretty snazzy. Or like white, red, white can look good. Looks nice. That's what we're. Um, that's what we'll be showing today. And we're going to be. Yeah, let me stop talking shit about these people's clothes, you bigot. I'm not. I just. Everyone knows we'll you shouldn't wear black. About to see. Black. Okay, so this is, black and brown uh, don't really go together. From a quest battle. Brax, shocks, and brown shades. Yep. Men, and this is one of his quest battles, and it's the battle for the fallen gates. So you'll see, the master lizard man forces trying to oust <laughs> the high elves as they as they try and they're sort of meddling in an ancient power, power site of the um, of the lizard men. Um. Well, I'm very excited nice to little take a clip. Look. It's going to be some <laughs> We show like, like two seconds of the game there. Yep. Of the fallen gates. There we go. Seem to be having issues with this, uh, with this, <laughs> with this conference today. <laughs> the guy that today. had to press play on the fucking thing. Yeah. Not very good graphics, but I mean, it did okay. Well, no, because I think, I think it's supposed to be meant to be like, like a unit-based game, so you see this from actually like way zoomed out. Yeah. So you can't really tell. Yeah. If the suit, if the shirt and suit match, you should do the opposite for the tie. Still, I don't know. I think usually, like I mean, most of the time if you're gonna do like triple color, then you have to have like different shades of the color. It's the dragos. It it, dinosaur. The mutant dinosaurs, my friend. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the one we saw with the fucking raptor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Roar. Total war, oh, Warhammer. Warhammer. 
Warhammer is another one of those like old series, with, like a whole bunch of lore, like Warcraft yep. and like yep. Lord of the Rings yep. and stuff. September 28th, Al. That's yep. Anyway, that if you wanted to like look nice, you could have done like different shoes. Like, you can, you can wear black today, shoes, it just look fine. So. You should just wear a T-shirt that had like a like a like a suit printed on it. Like how Dave has one of those. I know people who have those. That's just glitchy enough to be in game. Yeah, that looks like in-game in -game graphics. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's it's um, we're out this year. Well, I want to take a step back and I want to have you talk a little bit about what it was that we just saw in the Battle of the Fallen Gates. Right, so lots of dinosaurs and dragons. Tell you need to know. And dragons. Um, <laughs> and this is what we've got playable here at E3. Look at that uh, Google Watch you've got on. Take control of the lizard men in that battle and and experience that immense diversity. My dad has one of those like eye watches. Because they're, they're essentially my an army of dad. ancient spacefaring dinosaurs. <laughs> he just uh, adopts then, technology doesn't even think about it. He's like, yeah, whatever. Costs a lot of money, so it's probably good. Well, it just rem me remember a fucking fight your parents all like, almost had in the car. Your mom bought him it. He didn't buy it himself. Well, backing out of the battle, I know that the campaign map in Total War Warhammer was a big hit. What's going on with the campaign level? Level in Warhammer 2. So in Warhammer 2, we've got a ton of new campaign features like, which lead I only play Hearthstone. I have no idea what any of these games are. I'm just reading I'm just reading these cards. I'm just reading these cards here. Um, yep. A sort of overarching narrative, so all the races are in our intention. This right guy's hair. Um, but we're also shortly what is after with launch, white? we're also releasing I think a, a free update a for the game. Which will you see that? The combined he has like a sideburn, yeah. Play, which yeah, the, but the, I think I think he doesn't have any of hair. And Warhammer Two that. together. Like underneath the hat. Yeah, look, look at the back of his head. He has bald. only just like there's like a square of hair like right here. Yeah, no, I think he forgot the hair. Yeah, I think he forgot his sideburns. <laughs> wow, that's fucking awful. Yep, so they can play I can't see the other side of his face, so I don't know. But he doesn't look like he has any hair under the hat. also get to see. We're also rolling. You look at the back. You'll That's really funny. And they keep zooming in on it. I keep laughing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like you probably should have finished shaving before you came on the fucking show, buddy. Oopsie fucking well, doodles there, me. Coming out and talk to us today about Total War Warhammer 2. The Once buzz again, cut. Feel free to yeah, but you're supposed to get the sideburns and the buzz cut. Home, there'll be tons of footage and updates about the battle of the Fallen Gates. <laughs> now our next game is what? in the card game genre. They can't hear that. Where, no matter how our neighbors are like hammering stuff. I wind up playing bad decks and having fun. Here to talk about the upcoming expansion for Shadowverse is Crip. Oh, Shadowverse. Wait, Crip? Hey guys, how's it going? Crip here. Today I want to talk oh, he's about, doing it from his about house. Shadowverse. Shadowverse is one of the best card games out there because it basically just does everything right. Every time I log into Shadowverse, I have an amazing experience. Accent? I can play whatever uh, deck, Greek whatever cards, okay. anything I want to do. He is from course, Vancouver. He moved to Toronto, then he moved to the Greece, game. stayed in Greece this for a few years, moved back to Toronto, and now he's in Toronto. And really, the game gets so much richer. So it's just and a mixture that, of all of these. Yeah. Gentlemen, I just, I just find it hilarious. Hilarious that they hired Crypt to do this, and he's like, "I'll just do it from my fucking bedroom." Yep. And it's it's exactly exactly how he does his other his actual videos. Yep. He goes, "Hey guys, Crypt in here," and just kind of blabs. It's like, "Oh, okay, Crypt." Each page a window to a Crip's accent is land. internet shithead, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm going to play the bomb burino. Knights and dragons. Yeah, you really, you really do, like if you could picture like your average fort. If Four Chan had like was an it was an ethnicity, and it had like a like a Fairy. language, a language and accent, it would be Crip's voice. And yeah, there's a lot of cat booty here. There's a lot of. But fear not to bite life's fruit. For in this land, a vampire. Is, is this your uh, your style of game, Naomi? Oh, it looks interesting, but I'm really bad at card games. Glory bound or purged in flame. The hand you choose defines your fate. Look at Alice in Wonderland. Should we kick a stanny? <laughs> yeah, he's kick a stanny. Just a game. The cat had a badonka donk. Wonderland dreams. New card expansion. Oh, that's a new expansion for Shadowverse. Yeah. Cool. 
Well, it'd be so far just to see the expansion to start a new game. As you know, technology yeah. is an extremely important component to games, especially with the ever increasing power of hardware and with new demands coming. You know, I did. Con okay, guys, in the chat room, fill, 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 fill us in here. Did we miss anything important during the like uh, AMD Intel conferences earlier today? I didn't want to watch it. I, think, I thought it was going to all just be all hardware. Hey, thanks for joining us, Doug. It's great to be here. I want to thank you, Doug, for coming out, and of course, thanks to Intel for sponsoring this event. We really appreciate it. It means a lot to us. And since Doug has a whole bunch of exciting stuff to say, I'm going to give the stage to Doug. Goodbye. <laughs> hey. Goodbye. Good morning, I am very Just excited. Pieces. To be here. Like, oh. I'm very excited to talk to the PC gaming. He goes. He's like playing Hearthstone on his phone in the back. Like, okay, give me a second. Intel. Give me a second. I'm a software guy. You're the gamers. All these announcements are very relevant to everything we do. You know, 2016 was an amazing. Seventy-five percent hardware, five percent games. You've already seen like Overwatch. Well, then there we go. The like, who the fuck cares, right? Over two million new live streams. Over three hundred. I'm happy to have missed it. I need an extra hour of sleep. And look at the growth in VR. Honestly, like staying up last night didn't even hurt me. It was watching because Devolver you, Digital. That is what made me fucking you tired. In this room, the yep. PC gamers. It's because of you on the broadcast. You are the ones that bring the innovation that we create. You drive us to innovate. You were on the edge of technology all the time with you. He looks like you he'd be some sort of army guy in a movie. You have what the new capabilities are that we need to deliver. And then you have this amazing... Yeah, I can see that he's like the sergeant. Yeah. He's, he's like, like literally screaming at everyone. Old, yeah. yeah. Female, tech, he missed his calling, dude. He missed his calling. Together, Software guy, nice title. To immerse themselves <laughs> in this environment. Now, it starts at Intel with amazing hardware technology. We've talked about the launch we had two weeks ago holding of there? our X-Series platform. Is that like the press a button now, to make the next slide come up thing? Love, is that like his mic pack, which he shouldn't be holding, should be on his belt? Capability. It's an amazing system. I don't know. And you make a task I mean, you're wearing a Moo Moo, and even your mic pad's on your belt. Yep. We'll love the beast of them all. The Core i9 Extreme Edition, an amazing system for this environment. The guy from Avatar. Now, it's a software a bit, yeah. I think I'm gonna be getting a cold. I love this environment. My, I love my, my throat, this like within the past hour, has, has gotten like just the slatest bit scratchy, and I'm like, it's coming, it's fucking waiting, coming, dude. More time creating. I blame creating you. That amazing oh, content. I might have had a cold. I don't I fucking know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> To ensure they take I nine, yeah, wasn't what, like isn't the I nine actually pretty platforms. decent, guys? It looked cool. The algorithms or the high density graphics. I mean, we had like the two show computers. One's an i seven, one's an i five. How long has it been? The best known methods. It's been like thirty six months. These millions of developers mm -hmm. are making yeah. the most Shit. out of that platform, yeah, dude. delivering the best this content. This gel didn't last very then we long. To market oh, is there heard so again? All mm -hmm. the gamers out here, the billions Shit. of gamers, yeah. know the new compelling Super shit, eh? How come? Oh, so yeah, Naomi's Wisdom Tooth is still coming out. Like, it's kind of funny because, like, you're, you're, he's like, is it, is it going to show and up? And this is just an example. And there it is. There it is. <laughs> no, I'm sure you recognize no, just games a lot of these titles. Fucking whatever. These are just a few examples. No, no, no. Like, Halo Wars 2, at, at the start of E3, you started having the Wisdom Tooth problem, right? And it's been getting Arizona steadily worse over the course of E3. <laughs> so you're going to be like, oh, no. Oh, no. Cheerio, X299 platform is a mess right now. Halo Wars 2, Overwatch. Um... The, the 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 gaming I PC for the show is an X99 to tell you uh, motherboard, and, and it is it was pretty new and pretty awesome when, he, when you picked PC. it up, but that, yes, damn it! Yes, we're bringing the PC. Yes, bring it up. It is kind of a mess. That experience is absolutely amazing. You know, I heard a lot of mixed reviews of about Destiny. To talk about how yeah. Amazing that yeah. Experience Apparently, is. Nick swears by it. Then the full time. Right. Live Twitch streamer. I nine is Intel's panic and response YouTube to AMD's Threadripper. Really? Welcome on stage. <laughs> X two ninety nine is obviously better. It's a bigger number. <laughs> God, I know, I know. Hey Doug, how you doing? Good, great to see you. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. It's a picture of the guy really who's there in, in his giant fucking beard, a beard that only Dave wishes he could grow. Thousands of hours, uh, hundreds of raids. Doesn't match his hair. I built my community. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Destiny so weird. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm a co-host for... Uh, Actually, I'm a co-host of Destiny Community Podcast. I see. I see. Mr. Chirtio. You know what? I think he looks better with a shorter Destiny beard. A yeah. That's also, great. it's really sparkly. So play it, <laughs> I put glitter in his beard. Yeah. That's like the new yeah, SJW it. thing to do. I like, just glitter beard. The PC experience is amazing. I don't know. I glitter beard. As somebody who's played a lot of hours in Destiny... Get the fuck out. Look how glittery it is. Get the... He did. 
There's PC actual glitter in his fucking beard. And I can say 100%. Get out. Naomi, leave. Why? Leave. Why? Leave me. <laughs> Why? Damn, you must be trolling. Really? It was amazing. You guys, if you're a fan of Destiny, you're going to love Destiny 2. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, Nick squares by Destiny. I don't know, I heard it was yeah, good, it's and it's then, good. like, uh, something the made it shit. Thing, too, is or, yeah. like, it just wasn't, like, people were just, like, meh about it in the first place. I don't know. Is be is gonna be beautiful looking. I don't know, I, like... Ratio, uncapped frame rates. I mean, for me, personally, I'm gonna be looking at pushing 144 or higher for FPS, because... Oh, it's going to be so nice. 144. And, uh, yes, absolutely. On okay. top of that, uh, at a game Bungie dev orgy last night, told me something specific. There's always like it's orgies at cons. The, no matter what uh, kind of con it is, you always find like an orgy happening ships. somewhere. They are optimizing the engine. Yeah, they got your so fat nerds together and like let's just bang each other and it's like okay. So if you do have and it's just gross. Stream, which hate, you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe hook me up. Right. You just want to like take a fucking ball yeah, and throw it into the orgy room. Be, be like, bam. That is, uh, that's great. As an enthusiast, PC enthusiast myself, I'm very excited about that potential for Destiny 2. I can't wait to run it out. <laughs> it looks like the, the mic is like threaded through his fucking well, fantastic. beard. You guys all have a Might chance be. to take a look at it. Maybe you and I can uh, play later today. That'd be great. All yeah. right. It's, it's going to be on the uh, E3 show floor. So. Our host fantastic. is super tan. Thank you. Much, Thank you. Yeah, he is. I didn't really yeah. notice it at first. It's like Donald Trump level. No, it's not that bad. No? No. You think I quicker that, had an orgy? Experience. Mm, nothing says it like that, right? All mm. right. So it's not mm. just about the top eight list titles, but also it's about the broad. Wait, did like day nine just with. peace out? The Is he just gone now? It's like, you see examples the fucking of Intel guy's like, this guy's a fucking disaster. I'm taking over. He goes out there. It's like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> content on the PC to create more and more opportunity to participate in a bunch of cool games. Hyperlight Drifter is cool. We're inspiring these developers through a contest called Level Up. Take a look at the sponsors between Intel, you got uh, Green Man Gaming, Epic, and Razer sponsoring this event. Epic? This is unreal. We have real luminaries judging, they might have like Tim Schafer. I think everyone should. The yes, Tim Schafer's going to be judging this contest. Uh, this is, this is just kind of like a shit show West conference, you know? In Seattle in September. Yeah. I encourage you to participate. It's a great event. It's a great opportunity for independent developers to get involved and participate. More of the games you love. As a software guy, why do we care? Because we want more and more content out there. We want more opportunities for games for others to participate. Someone has to gobble we that Intel show. Epic makes PC. Unreal you play. Well, how am I supposed to know, man? I know, don't know anything. On our platform. Discover the next big so the thing. Next big thing is built on top of the PC. Your game design you, reality. Everybody here, all you gamers, you could participate as well. I'm certain. As yeah, dude. In a game, you've Fuck of yeah. Unique that you'd like to bring. Oh god, this is not that this good, honestly. <laughs> no, really bored. Yeah. As well. I don't know which is better so far, EA or this. Developers. And create that amazing EA. immersive. Yeah. There was games in EA. Whether you're a gamer, well, I mean, to be fair, they've been showing off a couple of games. Ooblets was a new game. Yeah, yeah they've been showing off some stuff, but not only really that much, you know. And they still like splice it out with like other things. Pun intended. Maybe, like, With Xbox ESL, has spoiled us, where we just expect, like, game, game announcement, ESL, game announcement, really game announcement, game announcement, game Xbox. announcement, game announcement, game announcement, game announcement. Just like, Xbox. he's like, Here, here's everything why you should buy our stuff. It's like, okay, well, that makes it easy, right? Maybe that's why everyone loves Xbox. Because the latest technology we've used so far, no sports. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But sports don't bother me that much, you know? No, I mean, I don't care at all about sports. But I now, can generally I like sports, space out enough when people are talking about well, sports to make it okay. Bethesda, Bethesda's was good. That's yeah, true. You know, Bethesda's Bethesda was, was good. interesting. There just wasn't a lot of stuff slam. there. And there's no reason. Uh, they have coming out a lot of cool games. Here's the thing: that, like, like half of Bethesda's was like, here's an old game remade in VR or ported to the Switch. You know, it's like, well, fuck, man, we need more than that. And all these leaves getting together. And the first team to win four of the ten events will be the Grand Slam winner. They'll collect. Did you really say for Wolfenstein too? But in addition, um, get I am to a point. I didn't play Wolfenstein when I was a kid. Bonus for being the Grand Nintendo is automatically one better than Xbox this year. Dollars. Why? All right. Is he, did he put his? Do you like one million dollars? Did he actually put his pinky on his I mouth? I don't know. He might have. I didn't even fucking know. I missed it. He should have if, if they did. Because it, it sounded so They're lackluster. Like whatever. And now are making it VR multiplayer. Arena. Yeah. Do you guys see that announcement today? That is so great. They're creating the multiplayer VR experience and bringing it to life. 
in this Damn, plot. Dude. Play the new ones on stream, We're so dope. excited about it, Intel. I mean, we want so down many people to start participating things, with it. Like we are sponsoring a deal yeah. in conjunction Game with launch. Oculus. Anthem especially. To make Have you played Wolfson the New Order? No. Oculus. No. I haven't played a single Wolfenstein. Like, I, I watched sure I people play the that. original so Wolfenstein. I haven't played any of the other ones. I'm pretty sure I got my dad Wolfenstein the New Order for like his it was, birthday. It was just kind of a, it was, it was a series that I missed you know, growing up. I knew it existed. I knew that it was important. But now I know when you become an expert, what do you want to I want to vibe, so Fallout 4 VR is something I will take time off work for and not leave VR. Just like jack yourself into the fucking computer and never un Jack. That's yep. why we're super excited. Just like put put like tubes on your butthole and on your dick VR and just live and fall out. Yeah, Oculus babe, I think ESL, we should probably we get a fucking VR it's a virtual stuff. challenge so in the VR on the show. Arena. That would look pretty entertaining if and we're like, gonna compete like we're just you know, it's gonna be here playing a game in VR Poland. and you can see it. It's like the we need like we need we need like a big we need a bigger green screen go on the floor so you can actually walk around in it. But at the same time. VR is too expensive. Now I know yeah. everybody likes the challenge. Everybody's excited about challenges. Dude, you can't like boob mods and VR sounds great, man. <laughs> but like, I'm, I'm, take, I'm take already five things and jiggle them. I'm, I'm already Intel living gaming. in the real world with big boobs. Follow so at well. Intel Gaming, and you'll have a chance that. Don't need by participating there to win one of three great prizes. You consider your boobs to be big? One from Asus and one from iBuy Power. I'm pretty sure lots of other people do too. Just by participating in fact, you even said so, you fuck. All those will have Core seven. In the system. I think they're average so sized. No, they're not B is average. Challenge. I think they're slightly so above the average sized. Is here now the future of gaming. You can that just feel it like growing. <laughs> I don't know, man. No, maybe I'm just used growth. to them at this point. And you are. <laughs> and like you know, I've seen like way bigger. As a software person, <laughs> it's not okay. Largeness solely based on itself is not a fucking competition, Naomi. They're big, but they're just that big. Nope, I've always so had big boobs. It's actually like, not just you, the you were born with them? Yeah. You come out of the fucking vag with like tits. Yep. <laughs> Uh, the Echo platform, Echo Arena. See Dot Hack VR could Hack be cool, yeah. Sean? Dot Hack was cool, man. Dot Hack was Sword Art Online before Sword Art Online was a thing. There he is. I'm back. Just enough time for an Overwatch and of course, match. Thanks again to Intel for sponsoring this event. Keep in mind, if you look at the time, we're not even halfway done yet. We have all sorts of games still yet to be announced. So let's go ahead and look. Is this a two-hour conference? Oh, God, apparently. Shit, dude. Coming up, Brendan Green joins us to talk about the future of his smash hit, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. That's a, a new yeah, that's a good game, yeah. That kind of cool. Log Horizon VR, please. Time to take a look at an upcoming game up in the mezzanine with Sonya. How's it going, Sonya? So, Thank you, Sean. Uh, so, as a Firefox, is, this is a game that pulls on my heartstrings and doesn't let go. Is that Maya Kramer? I just want to hear more about it. And luckily, I've got the perfect person to talk to today. I am joined by Felix Kramer, the it is Maya Kramer, known as Wait. Uh, Secret Legend. But you've what? got some special announcements. Yeah, that's that's Maya Kramer. Her, Felix is what she changed her name to. Yeah, Why the fuck that? is she we here? Right. We were known She's like a Secret living Legend hack. She's also gained at least 50 pounds since I've last seen her. Game.com to find out more about that. And we're announcing that we're pairing with publishers. Oh God, Fiji, guys! Oh fucking! Incredible work on Night in the Woods and. The pedo, yeah, dude, it's her. It's her. It's her. What? It's her. So what? I'll tell you, story it time. Just the fox that sold me on this. Everyone already knows the story. I don't know the story. Graphics, and honestly, I just want to see just, more of it. Uh, Can we check out the trailer? Don't worry Let's about do it. it. Just someone in Vancouver. Yeah, dude, she's gained a lot of weight since since the last time I've seen her, man. Holy fuck. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see this coming. The fact that she's even relevant anymore. Oh, by the way, a uh, hi, Archippy. Hi, Archippy. What was the last fucking game she even did, guys? Oh, she's a game developer. Then? Um, kind of. Tell the story. I don't know her. I met her once. At a con like 10 years ago. She was actually like a decent human at one point. She she didn't like she she kind of let herself go. And when she started letting herself go, she went into like the health at any size bullshit. She was like, you know, like I'm just 
it's just natural for them to get fat when they get old. It's like, no, you can work out. And just, and just, no, 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 no. You know, just, this is just, it's, it's, it's patriarchy. It's patriarchy. It's patriarchy, guys. <laughs> and then, like, after she lost all of her natural beauty due to getting fat, she, like, shaved the side of her head and dyed it green. She started fucking Zoe Quinn. She, she was one of the people that, that she cheated on, like, Zoe cheated on, on, on Aaron with was, was her. Brandon Green, welcome. Thank you. And uh, she now lives in Vancouver as a um, as an indie yeah. game dev. She works for Silver String Media. Those of you guys who have been watching, like our who, who watched our Garrigate videos way back in the day, we had like a big expose on her because she was that fucking ridiculous. You, you guys all know who Silver String is, and you guys all know who Zoe Quinn is. She's just part of that shitty crew. Thank you for the experiences, both of the joy of And the worst part about her is that she was actually a half decent well, human about a decade ago. I thought she had just like been resigned to obscure. I never thought I'd actually see her again ever. Yeah, she was in the Indefensibles, exactly, yeah. It's still technically not released yet, and there's a whole lot more to come Seeing her again actually kinda of brought my mood down. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, uh, we're, our focus at the moment is to sort of stabilize the game, get the servers up to spec, but also we have, uh, you know... Honestly, the only reason I even I even knew it was her was because of that, that fading uh, green hair. That guy just threw a grenade uh, into the own <laughs> room, like <laughs> bounced off the top. So yeah, no, but Real gameplay right there. Really the game yeah. competitive and stable. This is like so the Shrinking Island game. Are oh, no cool. longer the yeah. most impossible object in the game. Right. Climb they just drop like 50 so players into one island and you just gotta scavenge and find really whatever you can find. And then so as you play the island shrinks, you so you have to fight each other. Yeah, so in terms of jumping and vaulting, is it... <laughs> yeah, vaulting. Is it, is it sort of, when you say that it's dynamic, does this mean that the taller the obstacle, the more difficult it is to climb over? Yeah, exactly, and it has it? different animations for each different thing, so vaulting, climbing. Now, oh. we also have weather, so. One of my favorite aspects, of course, is the rain map in the game. Walk me through what we're seeing here. So this is Can our new weather better? settings. This is fog. You just saw a clear day. Um, our rain has been tweaked a little bit as well. And we also have our sunset coming in, so... This really, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's, That's it's beautiful. quite beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's a and battle royale the game. Is there going to be a night? Gameplay of these Probably. Types of things with it just changed dynamic. Oh, so this is... Oh, a new gun. Yes. This is the OTS uh, Groza. It's a 7.62 bullpup. Super powerful, crate only. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a beast. Is it, is it a short range, long range? Where's medium to medium Whoa, short jumping and vaulting, revolutionary. Yeah. And then long range PC <laughs> Master Race presentation. I you came on the show, I, I asked Sorry, console plebs. If you own a console, get out. It looks cool. It it's, looks cool. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, also includes us. <laughs> it's like the, we wanted to add a bullpup, and we wanted to add something else to the 7.62 class. And this is a Spetsnaz weapon. It's, yeah, it just looks great. It looks cool. As good as a reason as any, honestly. I want to come back to the weather effects. Obviously, they look beautiful. What are some of the impacts that you've seen on the gameplay with the new weather effects? Well, it's just going to change the way you play. So it's not necessarily yeah. going to be, you're going to be sniping all the time. You know, with the foggy weather, you're going to have to choose a more kind of CVQ type uh, play style. But it's just, again, to give you a bit of variety and make every game kind of different. You've talked a little so bit not about much what then. we've seen in the video, but talk to me about long term. What's I, I would have thought that like the rain would make it slippery or something. So again, uh, yeah, we no, want to finish out. The, There's the potential platform, with the weather, and you guys fucked it up. All kind of mm -hmm. modes. You know, we will have modding down the line as well. Um, yeah, and, and it's, it's, again, it's just creating a stable platform. That's our yeah. aim here. I understand they're also working on new maps. Yeah, so we have two new maps coming, uh, one based in... I'm Peru, a PC plebeian. How can I become the master uh, race? <laughs> cities, uh, sandstorms and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, and then this other one in the Adriatic. So it has even a, a ruined Cosmodrome in the center of the map with, like, snowfall and... It's, yeah, it's, I'm excited. That's awesome. Yeah. And I know that you've been super involved with the community of regular players. What's in store for those people playing the game right now? So as I said, we have our custom games. Um, we have the 3D replays, which I'm really excited about because it allows you to watch your match back in the engine with a free cam and slow motion and stuff which like that. Which is great that. for so content creators. Exactly. I'm too right. poor so for consoles or a big beefy yeah. PC. Puree? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think that was a, a mistake. Puree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that field, dude. I spent a, like all my 20s basically like that. 
on, you have all sorts of stability and performance fixes. And also the fact that so my like parents and later my girlfriend forced server, me to sell a lot of my video games. I had like the, the, the big collection time. purge. Performing the best they could. And I was like, ah, uh, you know, so God damn it. Last month, God damn our it. focus was on client performance and we improved that yeah. broadly for a lot of people. And this month it's on server, so... I lost my original GameCube. I lost my NES. That's great. I'm sure players will completely stop Lost my Game Boy Advance. My DS. for those losses then. Well, <sighs> player unknown himself, Brendan, thank you so much for coming out thank to talk so much, about sir. it. It's a pleasure. Thank you, everyone. Hey, so what are you yelling about? Probably how nothing that was. <laughs> As we get yeah. ourselves set up for the, no the next game, we're going to head to the mezzanine with Sonya for a little bit of a giveaway. Thank you, Sean. Uh, Hopefully Sean they uh, right threw right Maya uh, Kramer over that fucking railing a free PC. Between, in between Brendan shots there. Yeah, she did. Intel, this bad boy is gonna be rocking an i7 also, my parents did too. K processor. Oh, there's a lot of sevens really, in yeah. there, and it's yep. gonna be running a NVIDIA GTX. You probably missed like the girlfriend stories over the years. Saved the by a car and just chance to win. Wait on the house to PC gaming show dot com slash <laughs> giveaway and horse. bring your information. <laughs> Good luck. And back I mean, to horses are expensive and not entirely worth it. Thank you, Sonya. We already have a GameCubing cool, GB right? player, but thanks, dude. We, we, I've, I've got my Jesus, collection back thanks, at this audience. point, for the most part. <laughs> I'm still missing a Sega Saturn. I didn't realize you could pinpoint the exact time and date a career died, but... <laughs> we still have all sorts of great stuff in store for you. Our next guest you Wait, may what? recognize from PC gaming shows past. Tripwire Interactive is back with a slew of games to talk about. Tripwire. By creative director they sound very familiar. Bill. Pleasure to have you, Bill. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Good to have what did you Tripwire back. do again, guys? Thank you. Thank you. As always. All right. You guys have been busy. Congratulations on the recent release of Rising Storm 2. Yeah, absolutely. It's a realism FPS. We just released it two weeks ago, oh, and the fan reaction has been really positive. Yeah, they all like really their cabbie hats, that. eh? I want to yeah. thank everyone who was part of the beta phases. I don't mind, because I like them too. Way. I just, and, uh, why are really, so many of them wearing like, them? We have one. Dave wore it for a long time, and everyone fucking hated it on him. Already really busy working Not on everyone new can pull content, them off. So stay yeah. tuned. That's Dave, amazing. like, I mean, I know so many people know when he was... Why are a massive of SJWs? Especially this year, It sounds, that's probably why I know them. Last year, you announced Killing Floor, Incursion, no, like when Dave was at maximum hipster oh, mode, like he's awesome he's less hipster though, uh, than he used to be a couple years ago. The, uh, but he'd like regularly drink out of the mason jars, and he would like uh, wear the plaid the shirts with either a fedora really, really excited. We think we have or a cabbie hat. Products, so and both like the fedora and the cabbie hat are in the prop closet right now. Yeah. I don't mind the cabbie hat. Can you imagine seeing Dave wearing the fucking? I've literally only met one person who can pull off the plaid and a fedora and not be a massive fucking neck beard. It's because you're ridiculous as a skinny beyond belief, but yeah. still. I should go get those hats and see if I can wear them. I don't think you'd look good in the right. Maybe the fedora. Well, I mean, this is obviously, obviously fucking nothing I care about. I'm going to go get them. Okay, have fun. Hold on, I'll get it. Super professional here. Dude, do you well, seriously sure fucking care at this point? This nah, this is kind of boring. Time. Let's go yeah. and take a look at Killing Floor 2's Summer Side Dave Nix looks oh, cool Oh, Killing like Floor 2. I, I'm so sad that I'm missing it. It's so fucking hot in here. Holy shit. Prick as both computers are running. Yeah, what okay. the fuck is that? Naomi. Got him. This is a golf hat. It's a caddy hat. Huh? A golf hat. Golf hats are fucking visors. Dude, this is the best E3 coverage you'll see anywhere on the fucking internet. Don't let anyone tell you this fucking otherwise. This game looks disgusting. Yeah, it looks it looks kind of dumb. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I'm gonna sit down again. Okay. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Can I wear the fedora? How do I look? Do I? How was that? I, I just probably pushed it down. I don't care, it's unlockable. Why does the carnival cleanup crew need help? I should just do the rest of the scene like this. No, no, I'm done. This is a horror show. I'm getting out of here. If you can hear me, 
Yeah, this game just looks fucking stupid. Circus in its real form. Now you have to have like lots of animals rampaging. I was born boat. for the fedora, milady. <laughs> I guess I should fucking wear the fedora. Eh? No. Taking I mean, a katana and a MySpace profile. A little bit, yeah. You need to grow your beard out more, and you'd be. You look okay in a fedora, surprisingly. We could just go crazy. Yeah. Goofy, you know, we got let, me, let me try Dave's cabbie hat. I feel like girls look better in fedoras than guys, honestly. I just have great in hats in general. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh, Tell me a little bit about what is the game. Oh, the cabbie hat. The stuff that people can experience in the cabbie summer looks okay. So it's a limited time event. It's only going right. to last for one month. Thank uh, you, so look older, though. Mostly here, because I generally month. see yeah, plaid uh, uh, cabbie hats on older fellows. Yeah. I mean, like, my grandfather fucking owned a hat like this, man. This is actually legitimate redone. Dave's grandfather's hat. Uh, we also yep. have it was made in, like, 1976. It's an old hat. It's my hat. I saw the carnival games right at the start of the trailer. He looks good, Grandma. Cabbie hat's good. Yeah, the and, uh, so it turns out that I can pull off both of these hats better than Dave. <laughs> the 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 There's a picture so, like week, uh, Dave for, for a short while dated out, a girl named Izzy, player. who turned out to be an actual legitimate okay, sociopath, like with, uh, like tanked people's and careers in order to get herself a head shit like that, like like real legitimately terrible shit. But he dated her for like a few months. And there's like one picture on his Facebook of like him cuddling up to her in a bar and they're both drunk as fuck. And he's wearing this hat. He's wearing this fucking hat. I think S and Ten Dog missed the hat show because <laughs> he crashed. So of course I have to ask. You're like on a farm. You get your facial hair and body hair merge across your neck. Just week. Easy. <laughs> it reminds me, um, it's too hot for a hat by the way, well, fuck I mean, this. That reminds me, um, oh, well, I recall really seeing two too. guys, oh, they were twins, I was in Toronto, I think I told this story before on the show, I don't think I've told yeah, it to you. There are these two guys, alright, and I was in Toronto at the time. They're, they're twins and they're wearing identical clothes, but here's what they did. One guy yes. shaved all the hair on his head. The, the first of many, right? Dave wearing a hat and not wearing anything else. One guy shaved all the hair on his head, except for it was a ring of hair like this. So, like, he shaved the front and the back and had a ring of hair going on top like this and then around through his beard onto his neck and shaved his entire beard. So he, had, he had, like, a ring of hair going this way. And the second guy had a ring of hair going this way. So he shaved his head. He shaved his head, he had a unibrow, he shaved his head on top and on bottom, and then he, he grew out his sideburns a bit more and gelled them forward to connect to his eyebrows, and he had a ring of hair around like this. So there were two guys, identical clothing, with these two rings of hair. What the fuck? It's, dude, it's Toronto fashions, man, Toronto fashions. Don't fucking judge people. I'm judging harshly. I'll happily buy them. Dude, they're hair fluid. Now, if any of you got the chance to see the conferences leading up to today, yeah, put those away. Yeah, please do. It's way too hot for hats. You know, I'm at a gold key temperature, and I think it's because you're wearing sacks. Ubisoft is in two hours, not one. It's currently two o'clock. Ubisoft starts at four. It's Forza Motorsport 7. Joining me to talk about it is the creative director of Forza Motorsport from Turn 10, Bill Giese. Oh, God, Forza. Isn't it Forza, not Forza? How's it going? Yeah, Bill, congratulations. Thank you. The announcement yesterday must have been really exciting for you guys. Porsche! Uh, we revealed a car to the world. Uh, Not an in-game car, a no, car. No, an actual Porsche! car. No, it's Forza. Shows like Geneva yeah. and, and Paris. No T, yeah. Pixel. We revealed a well, it's kind of like how E3, pizza doesn't have a T and Nazi doesn't have a T. To the world mm -hmm. yesterday. It was awesome. You know, I've gotten the chance to play the previous they were, the, You guys games, already showed this off. We don't need to know about it. You know what? Car. It's about Turning on the air conditioner until this bit is over, because I just do not give a shit decision. about this. It's about competition, and we've rebuilt Ooh, feel that. From the you guys can probably hear it, but I don't care. Feel that. The cool bliss. Oh! Oh! Thank you, Tyrone, for touching, for cradling my body. Shut up, gross and competent child. Why are you calling me a gross and competent child? Yeah, I will never fucking play this game. And I will never fucking care about playing this game. Coming. Yep. It's exactly what Dev sounds like when he comes, just to let you guys know. 
This is exactly what he sounds now, like. Is it? Yep. Do you like it? <laughs> then why do you still have sex with me? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's because you won't let me have sex with other people. Shut the fuck up. Gotta bring a third party into this. Do we? Third party. So I don't have to hear your... Gross, incompetent child, Goodwin, man. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Please don't use gross to describe anything ever again. It's become a buzzword. Fuck off. It actually feels really good. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't give a shit about ports, though. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, get the fuck off stage. Let's just turn that off. Of all the stuff Microsoft's doing, you just got the chance to look at Forza and now coming on to replacing Bill with Ted Timmons. He's the PC design lead at Rare to talk about Rare. Sea of Thieves. Come on out, Ted. We already saw Sea of Thieves yesterday. Hey, Ted Timmons, Thanks for having me. Welcome. I guess it's going out on PC, though. Talk to me but a little bit about what is like intensely more nerdy yeah, version so of I didn't know that. Green? I didn't, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know that Sea of Thieves was being made by Rare. Uh, uh, basically, it's parts that can be, be, be so And I didn't know that Rare made PC games. games. I guess they do now, because they're owned by Microsoft. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so okay, so Rareware uh, is not making a new Banjo, it's not making a new Conquer, it's not making uh, a new Perfect Dark, or any of the, the things that made it good. It's making Sea of Thieves, which looks good, mm -hmm. but it's not what Rareware is known for. They've been doing it for the past 15 years. They did like connectimals, which sucked. But we've also bought our gameplay footage in 21 by 9 as well, my personal favorite. Your, oh, your favorite resolution, yeah, like yeah, yeah. one of the That's top three epic favorite memer. resolutions. Yeah, probably there with 32 by 9 and 16 by 9 as well, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so. Tell me a little bit more about the PC version. Obviously, so. it's probably a challenge to try to develop for two different devices at once. Yeah, so we decided to change our approach to the game. We're actually building yeah. both versions in parallel because we felt that's how we deliver the same game on the same day. So it's not a port from one device to the other. Correct, yeah. We, we felt it was really important just to build them together from, from the very beginning. Just one yeah, single right. code. One single yeah, code. Rare is just Rare these days. Well, I know a whole lot of people here mm -hmm. are curious to... Ubisoft, to Rare is Microsoft's bitch, yeah. So Ubisoft is in two hours. Yeah, so we're coming to both platforms in early 2018. <laughs> But right now we have a technical alpha. Hey McLaughlin. Come sign up. We have thousands of PC Haven't seen or heard so any stuff since the end of Microsoft com. Conference. That's true. Again, I only heard Ted, Ted one awesome. thing about um, the Volvo Digital's conference, and it was how fucking Sea ridiculous it was. Com. Um, now, Bethesda is re-releasing every single fucking old game they've ever had yeah. with like ports and oh, VR and, and bullshit. And the, and the huge complaints about how Bethesda is going back to uh, game called the paid, last paid mods. Right. Yeah, paid yeah. mods yeah. that the people make and they just pay you for them or they just make you pay for them because it's stupid. Uh, Wolfenstein looks good. Um, Devolver Digital's conference was a giant fucking shit show. It was a giant steaming dump on the viewer. Let's ask the obvious question, what is the last night? The Last Night is what we call a cinematic platformer, which means it's not a game. The Last Night. Game. This is the one. This is this is the pro gamer gate guy. You know, it's more story driven. It's more reminiscent of old classics like Another World, Flashback. Yeah, paid much. Odd World. I was gonna say it reminded me quite a bit about it, and I. What was the last night again? Was that the? It was like the pixely one. That was this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was that like for you guys? Yeah, we are obviously super happy with the trailer reception. It's yeah, this 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 is the gamer gate dev now, that, that got shat on. Concerns I want to address. Um, you know, I am embarrassed by some tweets I made in the past. Um, yeah, the game. Devolver had really like Suda Fifty One to show up and not even like talk about No More Heroes Three. I was pissed. I was legitimately pissed. Yeah, Devolver pretty much rickrolled everyone. It was pretty, it was pretty pissed off, honestly. Super important to the character of the game. Tell me, where are we right now? I want you to this game looks good, though. Yeah. And you know what? Now that I know he's pro Gamergate, I'll buy it even more. Physically, but also intellectually, emotionally, even creatively. So in a sense, like any job that you could possibly imagine, an AI does better. Absolutely. Yeah. Including being a host for a PC gaming show. Including that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine, thank you, this well, one neat, person then. who was also excited so about the booth. So the game is full, now, like um, every one of these people have like a job they go to in world, the game. Give a yeah. kind of sense of existential so it's, like, it's like the game is, like the city is actually run by NPCs. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's like if you like, for example, go out and kill like everyone who runs at the power plant, there's going to be no power. That's cool, man. Yeah. So, That's you know, neat. Yeah. Shit, dude. Yeah. Um, 
the only thing you can really do is to consume endlessly, right? right. So what we're trying to, to, to see with this game is how do you define yourself? You know, when you don't have anything to create or to strive for. Yeah, and I can see, you know, obviously there's the futuristic... I can't believe fish, white woman Randy Harper harassed this, this POC of color. Amazing. I mean, all of these assets are in 2D, but it has so many modern effects. How did you even think of this? So it all comes down to my background in VFX and uh, advertising, basically. So I wanted to yeah, this looks know, cool. uh, explore what I could do with this. Oh, yeah. fucking cool. I'm yeah. definitely interested. That, I mean, yeah. With, like, modern techniques of yep, he supported Gamergate back in you know, like, 2014, about or whenever the fuck it started. It was 2015, I think it started. Who are you? Who and people have just been shitting on him ever since. Night. Yeah, so the character you get to play is a young uh, idealist, I would say. Yeah. And uh, Berto Alcon, after the stream shuts down, the first thing I'm doing is uploading the Devolver Digital Conference. You can go check that out if you like. Wants to change the world. And on you want to have way, like an impact and a meaning. Uh, absolutely. So on his way to do that, he's going to read some question. <laughs> okay. question Your belt is stretchy. Trust. Yes, it is, Steph. <laughs> what about the gameplay? What are the things that if I'm the player, what do I do in the last night? So we took inspiration from some classic genre like point and click and adventure games. Yeah. But so you get, um, you know, to solve puzzles and uh, dialogues, of course, but oh, you so added a point and real time components. No, you, you need to take inspiration from it. In what oh, sort okay. of sense? What makes it a real time puzzle? So it means that you know while you are busy um, breaking in an apartment, for instance, all the simulation is. After this conference, Naomi will do a solo so Gwent stream, right? Come around, you know, do you, you want to, Naomi? That. So in yeah, a sense, I'm like if I tried to break so. into the apartment, all current compilations on YouTube will just be that conference. Yeah, dude, it was just a piece of fucking shit. Awful, and it was actually ridiculously short, and we thought that the pre-pre show was the continuation of it, and I was just like, ah, you know, just hide, pretend to be a hobo, or maybe draw your gun. You also mentioned that Dude, the this is just structure of the game like is episode two one Star Wars. After the other. <laughs> yeah, so the game is structured around several nights, so you know it spans on several nights, and they are all interconnected, which means that what you See. tell people uh, on the very first night, you know, and what you do also is all remember. So if I'm so. just in a conversation, just walk away in the middle of it. Yeah, they will remember it. They'll remember. Like, cool. Two days ago, they'll be angry. Yeah, this yeah. game looks really neat. That's yeah. And I really want to get it and try it out. Me too, dude. Should we do it on the show? Yeah. yeah man. Yeah. Dates are Patreon. You can play last night. Collectively. <laughs> so. Well, again, I love the art style. I love these story-driven adventure games. Thank Maybe we'll so spend, much, like, me, one, two, three, four, $25 that you gave us in the stream tip on, on last night. I'm sure it's going to be, like, like, a cheap Once game. Again, like, indie games are generally pretty cheap. Net. I don't see that being, like, an $80 title, you know? Now, Maybe, like, a 20 or a 30 or a 40. Surprised me. I'm sure it will surprise you because of its style. It's from the makers of Arma, the realistic military simulator, and DayZ, the zombie survival game. DayZ. This one has a much more playful tone, though. Let's look at the next title from Bohemia Interactive. Okay. Peggy 18. It was the mother of all storms. But somehow I just knew everything was going to be... Oops. <laughs> well, being stranded on a desert island is a lot of fun. You get to meet new friends. You get in shape. Are you running away and from you learn said how friends? to craft. And because it's your land, this is just Minecraft with someone you can see. Before you call that place, it's a bear. A home. He just built himself like a life here. And that's just the beginning, because here you can do anything. Um. This is kind of cool. It is very Minecrafty, but it's still kind of cool. The pre-pre-show had the Sonic official guy to be scheduled to be on. I feel so sorry for him. It was a terrible fucking thing to watch. I don't entirely understand what this is because he got. Was on the like desert he, island? He, he just like built it into a city? I don't, I don't get it. It looks like he just built it into a city, islands. man. Explore your, islands. Explore your creativity. Visit us at islands.com. That's okay. 
I'd, I'd try that. Here's if there's like a free demo, I'd play it and oh, see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Director from Bohemia Interactive. It's Alish Ulm. Welcome yeah, it does seem very similar to Sea of Thieves, though, today. doesn't it? What it seems similar to Sea of Thieves okay, and so Minecraft. Islands is a sandbox game about uh, survival and exploration. But at the same time, in Islands, you can create your own games, your own adventures, just like the ones we've shown in the video. Yeah. Actually, it's islands, like the ones you've also seen in Sea of Thieves. Create, Just outright you references it. And it, it's almost like a, a sandbox game, not where you're necessarily building a structure, but you're trying to build an experience. Yes, exactly. And I have to ask, given the fact that the style of it contrasts so sharply with Arma and That's Daisy, not an art style, it's islands, unfinished. <laughs> Yeah, you think it's just it, like an... Uh, this a lot, but actually like, need what should the art style for a game be? A uh, wireframe. <laughs> it's still about exploration and finding out... Wow, this guy just work, built this out of like sticks. And Some Gilligan's Island shit, and dude. Just like Arma or Daisy, we're trying to create a platform to connect players with each other yeah. when they play online or when Ooh. they create something new and... Oh, no, the trees. The... Oh, no. Oh. I know that modding is... Dude, that's not how root systems work. Bohemia's history. What are some of the lessons that you've learned from Arma, learned from Daisy, and brought to modding in Islands? Well, we have our own editor. It's it's not a standalone application. It's a part of the game. Oh, really? I mean, I'd assume that it was just outside no, like no, all no. other editors. No, we, we would like players to be uh, able to uh, prototype their creations really quickly. Yeah. And so in the editor, the players can obviously create something new, but they can also decide to uh, open and modify existing games, ones that we mm. created or ones that... Uh, I'm feeling mad about this game. It looks okay. Yeah, I mean, I'd try it. Yeah, I'll leave that to you. I'm not interested like, so far. Really? Because you were interested about 30 uh, seconds yeah. ago. That that what happened fantastic. to it? Fantastic. I mean, tell me a little bit about what it is that we're seeing right here on screen. Here's the thing. Uh, well, People love their open just, world uh, adventures too much now. There is something to be game, said. Uh, for a guided story, there you know? Are, uh, mm -hmm. Two guys. Initially, there were three. I think one just like fell down the bridge. They, were, they, are, tr <laughs> they are trying to get uh, some kind of treasure, and yeah, they oh. are setting the explosives. Mm -hmm. Don't stand I near mean, it, I you idiot! About, I know you guys are here at E3. <laughs> Oh, the gold is mine. I know you guys are here at E3. What are some of the things that players can get their hands on? Wireframes is the best graphical well, style. Showing, are you uh, like a, a Virtual Boy the fan there, McLaughlin? Game editor, uh, but at the same time, we'll be showing how they can uh, use the editor. The Vetrex. The yeah, I know what the Vetrex is. And I mean, I, Jesus. I know there's a way for people to play right now. Is that right? Yeah, actually, they can already play the alpha version of the game. It's available as a part of our Bohemia Incubator program. Oh, that's uh, cool. They can find you, just, you could try it right now, actually. That's actually reasonably and cool, man. Year, we are coming to Steam you just, like, don't that's give awesome. a fuck. Remember, that's islands.com. <laughs> You're a goddamn racist, you know that? We're good. You can remember. How am I a so racist I say, for Alex, not being so interested in this game, you goddamn fucking pleb? And of course. Get out of here. I hope you're as excited as I am to come up with some total nonsense when I sit down to play. Our next world exclusive is gonna be up in the mezzanine with Sonya. Okay. Thank you, Sean. I am so honored to be a part of Seriously, this. Seriously, she did a really good job with her island. Not a very good job of being a speaker, though. I am so it, honored to be a part like Don't Starve or Don't of Starve together, fucking redying my so hair so I don't have the ends this a different color show, than the fucking actual rest of the hair. Oh, I think it's called like Oxygen Not Included. And this year they are back. And they are back with a bang. I don't think it looks bad. Scissor it off. I don't think it looks bad. I can tell the ends of her hair are like super duper bad. That's about it. It is called. Yes, they are. They're like kind of like your ends, man. Yeah, I know. Oh, cool. Oh, this is the one that looks kind of interesting. Yeah, this looks yeah. cool. I have a feeling it's going to be like semi turn based. Maybe. A little bit. Oh, that's a girl. You couldn't tell? I didn't realize it at first. <laughs> this looks neat, guys. Oh. Well, these guys made Don't Starve. Uh, actually, that kind of explains why the game looks like this. This looks very Don't Starve. Yeah, it's gonna be slightly turn-based because you're like you're gonna have like a cooldown thing. Darkest dungeon with tech. Yeah, 
Sounds like Darkest Dungeon. That was a good game too. There's so many just good games out there, man. It's different from when we were kids. Well, when I was kids. When you, when you were a kid, they were, you had the fucking x backs You're an X-Babby. This game looks cool. I absolutely yeah, love it looks good. I'd try it. Roguelike-ish, yeah. Well, honestly, roguelikes are one of my favorite genres as an adult. I just don't play much of them. I just don't have time. You fall asleep. Always. So I can't wait to talk about <laughs> Hold on, come here. I'll, I'll wake you up. Ready? ready <gasps> Kabam! Do you like Roblox? Enter the dungeon. Randomized levels that are ridiculously now, hard. Rue. The game is based on doing multiple I've runs. To I'm trying to get through. Really? So you like Gungeon. I'm fucking disappointed in you. I'm disappointed, Naomi. Fine, I'll just look at the cute guy then. How can he be cute? Don't so fucking start, you racist ass. <laughs> he already knows what joke I'm going to make. But Naomi, he'll make you wear a hijab. That's not racist. Because Muslim, is, Muslim isn't a race. Stop being religious. Religious. Roblox don't suck, man. They're awesome. where the genesis of the project was. We built the mechanic to build the game. So the Gungeon is nothing like Rogue? Fuck ah, Fairy. Fairy, I think you need to go into a wood chipper and try to find yourself. What keeps confusing me is that they keep doing the thing where they'll show something and then have the like, game dev of that come in. Yep. But they keep also just showing something and then having a game dev come in for an entirely different game. Yeah, it's true. This is very confusing. This is neat, though. Oh, yeah, guys, guys, guys. We did look into it. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but there's some new people here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mention it again today. We looked into it. There's two Life is Strange games coming out. Yep. Life is Strange Season Two is a completely new game. Life is Strange Before the Storm is a prequel game. And you also have to like have the DLC to be able to play as Max again. Yeah. Like right at the end of the game. Yeah. But don't worry. Shows me okay so far, Dinosaur. Where'd you go, dude? Gameplay is like for Echo Arena. I guess we're playing two Life is Strange games, guys. In zero gravity, players fly faster. Pass Watch the videos, cool, dude. Farther. Smack. <laughs> Hit harder. Is this just like Blitzball? Stakes get this is just fucking Blitzball from Final Fantasy X, dude. Just in, instead of being underwater, it's tastes sweeter. Berto Alcon season two is a this before the storm is a prequel of the original game. In the Echo Arena, season two is I don't know. It might be a sequel to season one. It might be a new story. You, you don't like Telltale style games, Dynasty Star? No, no, season two is supposed to be a new... A new game? ...new story. A okay. new game. It doesn't have anything to do with Max or Quilly or any of them at all. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Lone Echo. Could have been Life is Strange Walking Dead nonsense. With Echo Arena in action as some of the Ready at Dawn developers are playing yeah, Okay, this is Echo other. Arena so and then Low e Lone back. Echo is like Lone. something different. Uh, awesome God, <laughs> fucking. VR, I really you, to tell you hate Telltale games? Um, yeah, I, they're hit and miss, that, man. I do like the style of game where you make choices and kind of walk around and investigate the area. I would like Telltale more if your choices actually had any. I would like Telltale more if they went back to the style of making good games instead of shitty ones, because because season three. Suck. The Raven is a Telltale style game, you, you goon. You dynasty goon. For a long time, and I'm excited to work with Ready at Dawn as they're delivering the okay? next second generation VR game. They've been an ideal is partner to enhance that experience nope. to scale well, yes, to the most performant CPUs like the i7 and i9. That's amazing. So I was. Really I do have the Borderlands Telltale game. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to it at some point. Intel and Oculus, we announced. That Intel well, since we're done Walking Dead for right now, we can play that instead. I fucking hate you. I want to take a break from that shit. I want to take a fucking break. And this is because we want as many users as possible on this system. We want yeah. to ensure that everyone, including these guys behind us, the gamers behind us, as you see, 
that they yeah, try that's the thing, Pixel. The um, like, Walking Dead Season so 1 was, was good before, because, like, really it would have action sections that actually required you to aim. It would have bits where you actually had to explore an area and examine things and do puzzle solving. Walking Dead Season 3 was just a, 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 all the way through the fucking game. the VR challenge it's kick off, I definitely had a lot July, more fun playing the first, Arena, and I like the second one because the combat was harder. Yeah, you had to like actually dodge and shit. Yeah, at key upcoming events. Just uh, the finals happening. Nice. Play the Jurassic Park one. It's probably the worst. The Intel Extreme Masters. Okay, well that sounds kind of awesome. We've been going well, you, for a while now. It's nearly been an hour and a half. Uh, it's going to be coming out July 20th, and you can pre-order it right now. You know what? Owners can actually try the open I feel like going back to the regular Let's Plays after so E3 will you, be really Sean. easy, because this has been a bit grueling, Thank hasn't you, it? Again, like doing like two-hour long parts and shit? Echo, yeah. And I stress, you just have yeah, that's a ten minutes? I mean, I really like Jurassic Park, so I might so be able to last longer. Our so next know. guest announced play the game Raven? two years ago under the title Project Blue I Streak, and we now know it seen as anything about the Raven. Raven. Maybe we will play the Raven, guys. Not just gameplay, but One day. The Minecraft Telltale game. The Batman Telltale game. The Game of Thrones Telltale game. The Back of the Future Telltale game. See, Game of Thrones might be interesting. It was actually one of their worst ones. It was, yeah. Batman was better. Back of the Future was better. You know? It was alright. And then the first beta was good. The second beta was great. Oh, that's really sparkly. Uh, we're doing yeah. With that earring? Yeah. It means he's gay, right? I don't remember which side is the gay side, but he has it on both ears, so it doesn't matter. I never understood the idea of guys wearing earrings. I agree with that. But. <sighs> Let me put it this way. Where they're like, oh, it's sparkly that earrings the because week, like, generally things really like that are meant to, to attract anything. attention and so guys don't we usually attract attention in that manner like when, when it comes to attractiveness men are generally more attractive when they're doing something extraordinary girls are generally more attractive when they're looking like something extraordinary that's just a biological thing okay listen here you've gotten mad at me like 10 times over the course of this fucking conference for bullshit Naomi this is like an actual effect. Okay. It's a real thing. All right. It's a fucking like science. Okay. The Game of Thrones one is canon, so nothing actually happens. Yeah, because they couldn't ruin the show over it, right? They couldn't actually kill kill a real character. Well, no, yeah, that's why you fucking like have it non-canon, so you can literally make it your own world and have it. Like, then who cares, though? No, you know what? I have always... That's why I actually kind of was really into Telltale at first. That's why I, I've always wanted to have movies where, like, it's going yes, on, but you can, like, make the characters do other shit well, yeah. so they don't do what you the they, they did stupidly and have no, the story fair. turn out totally different. That's fair. Girls are more attractive when they're in their idol animation stuff. Sounds about right. <laughs> This game is intense. It's, it actually is. You can say that, but I definitely appreciate a guy who looks really good. And actually wears, you know, nice clothes. <laughs> That's fair, but there's a reason why the, why there's, for example, more gold-digging girls than there are gold-digging guys. Because having a giant amount of money either means that you've done something extraordinary to get it, or you can do something extraordinary with it. It's the action that matters. You know, guys don't do much gold digging. Guys look for trophy wives, you know, because they look good. Precision aiming the ridiculously of course, again, this is very general. Like, not all girls do this, not all guys do this. But if we're talking on averages, if if a girl's going to be a shitty person, she's going to be a gold digger. If a guy's going to be a shitty person, he's going to look for a trophy wife. Just how it seems to fucking go, man. I didn't design this shit. Don't blame me. God damn it. That industry bleep was so well timed, isn't it? Phil McIntosh would be triggered by this. What? My discussion or by this game? It gets crazy very quickly. David looks look good with big dang. I like a man that bleep. This game, if we're actually going to get back to the game for a minute, you look is it, like, it looks cool, but it's definitely something that we've seen I'm before, you know? I'm really tired I'm of just all of the shooters that just have all the same fucking mechanics, like flying through the air and like 
anyone below. Like, that's Call of Duty, that's fucking everything, man. Well, no, it's like... Well, Call of Duty has, like, jetpacks now. No, there's too many online multiplayer, like, shooters. Like, like, Battle like, Royale. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, all the rest of TF2 already exists. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think, like... It's not one of those medics where you have to TF2 or like Overwatch came out and everyone's like, we can make money by making another Overwatch. It's like, no. It's like, no. It's sad. I don't understand why fucking companies do this. Like, you see one thing that's super popular and then everyone starts doing it. It's like, guys, no. You got like one and then maybe a couple others. This is a Cliffy B game? Because Cliffy B makes good games. Yeah, it's Cliffy B game. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, then it's probably worth trying just based on his name alone, honestly. And this game gives you so much Cliffy B is like one of those game devs that like has been consistently good throughout his 20 years in the... Like he made Jazz Jackrabbit, that was a great game. He made he made Gears of War. Gears, all the Gears of War games were Cliffy B games. That could be cool, man. Isn't Cliffy B a cuck? Probably. <laughs> I don't know anything about him personally, I just know he makes good games. This bad boy is running an i7, 7700K yes. processors, a lot of 7s in there, uh, and an NVIDIA GTX 1080. It's worth more than $2,500. You do not want to miss No, out. we actually aren't paying any attention at all. I can't com. hear most of what everyone's away, saying because everyone mumbles a lot. I think it could run Crisis at max settings. Uh, I, I honestly don't show. know what Cliffy B looks like. I didn't I promise I just, I just know that he very, makes good games. That's all I know about him, is that, is that I like every game that Cliffy B has made so far. I am a master of transition. You're playing Battle Orange in the free weekend. It was a dead Our fucking next game. The game yeah. is from Chucklefish, the wonderful folks who helped bring you Stardew Valley. Yeah. Starbound. Let's take a look at their upcoming Stardew game. Stardew Valley and Starbound. Shroof. I know, I know, I'm Chucklefish, Please I know. Shut up. No. Okay. Cool. Gonna be a tactical RPG. Neat. This is like Fire Emblem, guys. Or like, or like Warcraft, like the original Warcraft. Yeah, Advance Wars. All those kind of games. Neat. Did you play this? I've played games like this and I like them okay. That's cool. Create your own battlefields? Yeah! This brings back like Warcraft 2 style things for me. Like I, I used I used the map mod in Warcraft 2 a lot when I was a kid. <laughs> Attack dogs. <laughs> You just want fire them to not be butchered by treehouse? Yeah, I feel that, dude. Why is he walking on water? Oh, fuck, it's a dragon. War, War Groove. Okay. War Groove. That was cool. Today, we're not just going to get a chance to talk about the game, but we will be seeing the editor in action, a live demo on stage. I'm joined by Jay Bayless and Doris Karaskotza from <laughs> Chucklefish. Welcome, it's so great to have Thanks. you. I thought yes. Chucklefish... Well, I, I say, oh no, it's Concerned game, Ape. Reminded me quite a bit of Chucklefish was like the publisher. Yeah. yeah um, okay, Fire so they didn't make Stardew, they published about, it. Know, yeah, yeah. Concerned Ape made we're Stardew. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't get copied. <laughs> Season of from Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, because it looks almost exactly like Advance Wars and like other kind of games Nintendo's made in the past. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of unique kind of gameplay mechanics. So they showed this the during the last Nintendo Direct, really. Play, yeah. Was it, is it also on Nintendo systems then? Yeah, and that's one of the things Probably on Switch or something, or 3DS. Today. Doris, who's operating the PC right now, tell us what it is we're looking at. So what we're looking at today is the world map of Wargroove, and this is our can, campaign. Can we see it? So these are the tools we use in oh, to create gonna, campaigns. You're not going to put it up on the fucking screen. Really you're just going to put a camera. Okay. <laughs> Sure. So I've been pressing down my, my there we go, there we go. Okay, thank you. Mission, mm -hmm. And then you link them together to create the path through your campaign. And I know that one of the things you wanted to talk about was the branching path element. Yes, yeah, so you can have branching path, obviously. And the cool thing with that is every branch can have conditions. 
So, for example, let's say you get a high score in a mission, and that could lead yeah, you through another pass in your campaign. Uh, or you uh, could have a, a secret pass. Where's Rome at? He should be talking about the girl right now. Mission. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's hop into one of the missions and get that one started. And Jay, walk me through what it is that we're taking a look at. So yeah, this is a, a map editor. This is like straight drawing tiles straight into the battle screen. You know, it's really simple to use, really understandable immediately. Um, you can just kind of draw those tiles straight in there and drop in the full range of units. One minion, uh, command, in, one uh, minion, right one what million troops. Jesus. Uh, so the commanders are kind of integral to the strategy of Wargroove. You have this unit that kind of represents like the king and queen in chess at the same time. They have unique abilities and act as your avatar in battle, and they're really powerful, so you can kind of push forward really heavily with them. But there's a lot of risk reward in there as well, because if you actually lose that unit, then you actually lose the game. Oh, that's what you mean by the king comparison. Absolutely, it's, it's both yeah. your power unit and the queen, but your loss condition is the king. Yeah, and um, other tools include you can drop down buildings right now. Uh, we dropped in some HQs. Those are kind of like your base of operations and to take the opponent's HQ is to win the match. Yeah. Oh, but, um, on top of like kind of simple and easy to use tools, we've also got more advanced You tools. want about 100 max this um, kind of game? Yeah, because so there's a lot of troops right to command if it's like, and assign, like a move a whole fucking army. Okay, Looks like so, shit. You know, Toyra, get the fuck out of here. here. Yeah, you could have bandits jump out and attack you from the woods. And the really cool thing about that is that that actually ties back into the campaign map we saw earlier. So maybe that will trigger a condition. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it's still a black border. I fucked that up. Oh, who cares? Going to the forest to fight more I don't. <laughs> so on. Now, Doris, what is the process okay. to go it's already been like this map to a playable game? A half a minute of total Doris, silence on the couch. Like, Dude, we're just I'm just kind of into this. I don't know about you. So you can just share your map. You're not into it, are you? You've already lost interest. No, I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm here. Yeah, you're here. You're going to play. You're going to And there it is. So let me actually take a step over to this timer here. It has been No, man. I No, I I just like the style of game, man. I haven't played a good one in a long fucking time. Get it playable. That is incredibly fast. Jay, Doris, I want to thank you both so much for coming out to talk about this game I mean, game it looks today. like it might be entertaining Cheers, guys. to play. Mm -hmm. I might not be very good at it, but it might be entertaining to play. Yeah. I'm a strong female character. Visit PCGamer.com. What's this now? Oh, just like an advertisement for themselves? The next game that we get the opportunity to talk about is the sequel to Middle Earth Shadow of oh. Mordor. It's Middle okay. Earth yeah, Shadow, about of Shadow of War. That has an officially no, it's just that the guy, that it's it's just that the guy looks, looks like the guy was wearing a flint hook, not flint hook, um, Hollow Knight shirt. And I was like, is it going to be Hollow Knight? And I was like, no, it's not a Hollow Knight shirt. Thanks for the chair. There, there. Hell yeah. Well, I like Hollow Knight. It's a good game. Grueling standard. And it gives us to do one of the most iconic Go things in PC. I need an actual gamer girl girlfriend for fuck's sake. I'm like, this is a good game. You're like, oh fucking no. Now, you, we've heard fine. About the October Go find one. I mean, I, I like this dress, and I'm like, oh thanks, Naomi. Thanks for the contribution. <laughs> this is like the stream we break up, isn't it? Oh, Watch Shadow of War and be slightly entertained. Uh, so slightly entertained. <laughs> so far, you're going to be the only game that's slightly entertaining me. What do you mean? These are, these, there are some good games today, man. Are you really like, nah? Go become like DSP. What, did they, did DSP break up with his girl on the fucking stream? ...about how important story is in Shadow of War. What does that mean in terms of the work that you're doing? It means She's some bronzer, uh, dude. epic scale, so having mm. these titanic full-scale battles, it means the stakes of the story, so we're facing the most iconic and powerful mm. villains. Is that Sauron? And the Witch like King it. and the Nazgul. And it means having these incredibly memorable and personal characters, right. so allies and enemies that you're working with. And in terms of E3, what are the types of things that you're showcasing here? He was dumped by his engaged oh, really, really partner. Excited for E3 Oof. is two things: people that's, being able to get sucks. their hands on the game and play it. Did he get the uh, ring back at least? That we're going to be giving demos of the game, but because of the Nemesis system, every single demo we give, we have no idea what's going to happen. That's awesome. We don't know which orcs or which characters are going to turn up, which story. Lord of the Rings, that was the first MMO you played. Ooh, go and see the demo, gonna see <laughs> that's no good. And so are we. Um, I do know that Lord of the Rings have been like hit and miss for, for games. Yeah. Honestly, Fairy, I'll agree with you. The Witcher has a better fantasy universe than Lord of the Rings. I will stand by that statement as well. 
throughout the entire duration. I played Witcher 1 somewhat, I like not much. Uh, I played Witcher 2 almost at the end. I never played Witcher 3. But what I, what I saw, I liked a lot of The Witcher. Can you introduce her for us, El Tariel? Ah, yeah, so she's one of the new characters we're introducing into the world and into our story, El Tariel. She's the Blade of Galadriel. So she's essentially an assassin that's been sent to Mordor to hunt down the Nazgul and to hunt down anyone corrupted by a ring of power. And you, as Talion, are running around... Did you read the books? Probably. The power. So there's a, some yeah. interesting tension <laughs> in that relationship with her, but she's... she's this in order to melee attack, you had to manually well face that, your target. Um, if your target her moved just a little, you stopped hitting them. Oof. That sounds terrible. Yeah. Which is the Blade of Galadriel. Well, before we hop into that, I just want to say, Michael, thanks so much for coming on to talk about Shadow. Because Gwent sucks, man. We talked about how important story is to Shadow of War, so let's take a little bit of a look at two minutes of the cinematic, El Tariel meeting Talion. Okay. I love FMVs in my games. <laughs> Looks like NY Theater pulled a Katy Perry. How do you mean, SN10 Dog? So it is true. You killed me. And yet you live. <laughs> what is that like? To die and live again? Do you feel pain? Do you suffer? What of the city? Of the Palantir? The Nazgul have taken both. They belong to the Dark Lord now. Then I have failed. What if you keep fighting? He wields the light of Galadriel. He can recover the ring. Your rings are the cause of all this, Elf Lord. Oh. You can see him. I see him. He's like, who oh, are well, you? shit. <laughs> I'm the blade of Galadriel. Since when does Galadriel be headed trauma to play a Caesar? Great threats make for unlikely alliances. What? You know this better wow. than most. Um, Jesus. Now tell me more about this ring. Wow, really? We crafted it to defeat Sauron. But it was lost. The Nazgul will be drawn to the power of the ring. We cannot let it fall into Sauron's hands. The light of Galadriel, give it to us! Stay your hand! My light will protect us, but it will not leave my side. We must move quickly. Try to keep up. <laughs> that didn't look like it was going in at all. Shadow of War. As a huge fan of Shadow of Mordor, I'm really excited to see where the story goes in the sequel. Neat. And I'm pleased to say we I have, have to one Mordor, final now. game to announce. Dave has it. It's from yeah, Microsoft, and yeah. I'm not even allowed to say the name yet. So joining me to talk about said unnamed game is a creative director for Microsoft Studios, Adam Eisgreen. Welcome, Adam. Thank you so much for What's having me on the show. This is going to be unnamed you. game. Now, Adam, I understand that you've been in games for a long time. I have. Um, I am coming up on my 25th year making video games. So yes, you can actually make a career out of being in games. <laughs> um, and you know, I got my start in the DOS days. Got the airlines make America pull the Russian New York theater on Sunday over production of Julius Caesar that reimagines the main character as President Trump. Jesus. I don't know. Like, okay. You can hate Trump all you want. I know you're no fan of Trump. But, like, if it were Obama, they'd be arrested yeah. for no, threatening I, the president. I or threatening the president, they'd arrest I definitely him. don't think you should be making plays about killing, killing the president of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> like, they would, they, would, they would arrest them. It'd be like, oh, that's a death threat against the president. That is not covered under free speech in the First Amendment. You're arrested. Yeah. Like, how is this fucking... Okay. Well, it could be a new banjo. Because it's from Microsoft, right? This isn't Banjo. Fuck! Why'd you get my hopes up, Berto Alcon? It's like Grim Dark Banjo. Most beloved PC games. I don't know what this is. Banjo is such a weird turn. <laughs> Eight vampires. 
Oh yeah, okay. No, I can see this. Yeah. Age of Empires. There's the original. There it is now. Oh, that's cool. New zoom levels. Now you can get right up fucking close to them. Or you can go really far up. I can see what people would be excited about this, but I didn't really play much uh, Age of Empires. Oh, look, another remaster. In fact, it's fully remastered. Original looks better. I have to, I have to disagree with you there, Fairy. Says you hate pixels, though. In fact, you even hate pixel precision. I don't hate pixel precision. I love them. Do you? Yes. Oh. Because he caused all the shit with Avery, and it was amazing. <laughs> I haven't played Fable, but I've heard about it and want to play it. I think Dave played Fable. I like touch it for about five minutes. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> Age of Empires was the first game I ever saved at my life. Who's here anyway? As a kid, I'd, I'd oh weed gosh. my grandma's garden all day. She'd give me like two dollars, <laughs> and I still stay dedicated. Tell me about Age of Empires, ma'am. Man, you know, nobody has been able to play this game except if they found the CD-ROMs for the last 20 years. And what's a CD-ROM? I know, really. This day and age, like, who even has a drive? Hey, um, guys. You know, and this Everyone's has been here. such a labor of love for us at Microsoft and our development yeah. partners. Stop me writing history anyway. That drama was all my doing. No, <laughs> it wasn't. You found the picture, which freaked the fuck out of Dave and Avery. I have they honestly... thought you got it from fucking FD. I've honestly been considering streaming Fable, honestly. And then Pixel photoshopped it. <laughs> they pretend coins don't exist. <laughs> which insulted Avery more. So, I mean, it was both of you, and it was God. great and amazing. Yeah, Fairy and Pixel, thank you for making Avery absolutely, like, shit her panties. But of course, Dave's yeah, yeah, still just making random excuses. Now, so oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they, I fucking told him what happened to him. I'm like, you just yeah. keep making excuses for her, man, and look what he's doing now. Making yeah, like, excuses. Like, like, a day later, Dave was like, oh, we're better now. And I'm like, yeah, because you let it sit for a day, you retard. Yeah. No, it just I'm actually just changed. Fuck Fuck's sake, sake Avery. Yeah. I'm just like, Dave, if, if you're staying with Avery, you better make sure she does some fucking Life is Strange shows. That's the only reason I want her around anymore. There have been updates to the gameplay in that regard. Yes, so not only have we done things like improved fine path, which is, of course, always a big thing. You're going to me to kick a chicken? We've gone in and actually modernized the UI. Boot the chicken? A lot of people forget that original age didn't even have an idle villagers button. So all of that stuff, attack, move, all of those things you that uh, people come to expect. Control groups? Yes. Control yes. Groups? 1A. Um, yep. So all of that stuff is all in the game now. So we've taken all of the learnings. Why are you jiggly? <laughs> you got piss? To those standards. Oh, and, I kind of do. I haven't for like the past 40 minutes. I saw no, that I've been it said good. Xbox Live multiplayer, mm -hmm. which, uh, as you may or may not know, that is the... Um, from, from what I know, the Ubisoft conference does not start oh, well, for another um, hour and 15 minutes. You know, I guess if it starts in 15 minutes, we'll just keep fucking so going. Like, I don't know. Really amazing experience. We also have a yeah. web portal, so they can go and track progress. My witness protection program joke from weeks ago. Players, so it should be a really wonderful experience to play. And what about the beta that we saw at the end of that video? What about yeah, the beta? So, what about the beta? Uh, the be Tell me about the beta. Year, but you can go right now. You see, S N10 dog. I haven't seen that. Man. For our multiplayer beta, um, you know, RTS games are really, you know, our multiplayer is so important, and we want to make sure that this definitive edition of Age is the absolute best we can make it. Right. So, you know, multiplayer. Yeah, we about an hour away. Yeah. Play with us, make the game great. You asked me before we hopped on. Go check out multiple sources, guys, and try to confirm which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's it's an hour and fifteen. Go check out official sources, guys. <laughs> well, yeah, but still, like. The whole franchise will be twenty. It's hitting its twenty mark. Shit happened on Twitter. Some Ubisoft dev advocated pirating an indie dev's game. Um, wow. God damn it, guys. Jesus Christ, like, Ubisoft. What the fuck? Are I mean, you doing? I, I'm on principle. I, I'm not going to stand against piracy, but. Wow, buddy. It's not a thing to advocate on, <laughs> on, Twitter, on Twitter and get yourself are fucking yourself fired. Dev. Like, oh my god. Just get shit canned, you know? I think I'm gonna wanna hear it. Yes. You I, tease. Mm. Well, let me just say, Adam, thank you so, thank you much, so much for coming for out. EA's was at least more entertaining than this was. There was too much, like, interview and stuff and not enough that, game stuff. You know. of announcements comes to an end. Before we depart, let's head back up to the mezzanine with Sonya for one last hello.
Thank you, Sean. I had an amazing time being a part of some awesome game reveals and kicking it with you guys today. If you want any more information on any of the games that you saw today, go to PCGamer.com. If you want to hang out with me and check me out on the internet, I don't at OMG it's Firefox, pretty much this. everywhere. I had a blast. Why? What was the and use for of this woman? Time, back to you, Sean. I don't fucking know. I think they just wanted to make the play, like the, the thing say, seem bigger by having two locations. Blast. I hope you yeah. had a great time. Thank you all so much for coming out. All of you who braved LA traffic to be here in the morning. All of you who tuned in online. Thanks to our sponsors, Intel, Microsoft, Bohemia, Tripwire, Psy Games, and Nexon for help making this event possible. You missed Mixer. Yep. You missed Mixer, buddy. Support. And this I'm has been a bit of a shit show. Yeah, it has. And I think that's part of what's making me bored. Last week. We were so no, I like it as a shit show. It's kind of goofy. Nah, I mean, it, it... Yeah, she did interview, she did, she did interview Maya Felix Kramer there. And as crazy as it Needed sounds, a woman? Yeah, I well, guess. Well, here's the thing. Uh, S10 Dog, one PT is so for our time, which is in an hour and 15 minutes. On it's only, it's only 2.45. week that you're pumped for. From all the folks at PC Gamer and from me, day nine, have one, a wonderful one, day and go play some video games. We'll see you next year. Yeah, dude. So that was the PC, uh, the, the Steam, the Intel, whatever conference. What'd you think? I was bored. There was a few cool things. Eh. Oh, look at this I bullshit mean, from Twitch. Most I'm of the pause interesting it. stuff we already saw yesterday from Xbox. That's true. There was a few interesting games today, though. And I'm pretty sure they, they really want, look at that chat. I'm pretty sure they really wanted um, you know, Age of Empires to be that anchor at the end, you know? Which it was not. Well, it was, just for people who are not fucking children. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bannerlord in the last night. Bannerlord. Bannerlord. Um, before we get out of here, I am going to check out, though, for real what this says here. Let's just refresh it. Yeah, see, the, the PC gaming show is never usually a big deal. They show a lot of stuff, but it's never like a big, big, big thing, you know? Yeah. I'll just skip that fucking... Yeah, see, down here it says Ubisoft, 1 p.m. PT, so that's an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. Pre-show starts at 12.30, so the pre-show should be going right now. IGN's pre-show should be going right now. Dicester, you didn't watch it with us? I'm oh, no. fucking mad at you. No, actually, no, I don't, don't worry about it, buddy. You see, the Xbox press conference replay. They're not even doing the Ubisoft pre-show. So I'm pretty sure that it's not happening in 15 minutes. I'm reasonably sure it's not happening in 15 minutes. So we're going to take a break. We'll come back in about 45 minutes, guys. And we're going we're gonna to do the um, 45 minutes to like start early, right? Yeah, we are doing three today. We're doing Ubisoft and we're doing Sony tonight at nine yep. o'clock. Yep. So we'll be the stream will be back up in about forty five minutes. We'll come in in about an hour, an hour and change is time, and we're gonna do the Ubisoft conference. Okay guys. Uh, for that extra hour of time, what we're gonna do is Neil is gonna make me some food. I'm gonna make myself food. You can make your own food. No, nah, you can make me food. Nah. Come on, man. Nah. Why not? Nah. I mean, she, well that's Nintendo. Naomi, dog, Naomi, I'm sorry, no, you no, can't no, Naomi. be here. Tomorrow, Naomi. have about, fun with your what about, surprise. What about what about stuff? Schopenhauer now? Oh my god! <laughs> this. <laughs> okay, no. guys. Okay, guys. Well done. <laughs> Just <laughs> death. Death. We don't have ten minutes, Berto Alcon. I don't think so, man. Fine. I'll check it again in five minutes. But for now, uh, we're done. See you later.